Okay. Okay. Here we go. Nasty, nasty, nasty weather out there. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, let's do this wild card Wednesday. Got to be careful out there with the weather, but it's going to taper off, which is good. Golf tournament still on today. Fresh shot of bed, head to head. Sexy James is going to go for, I think, win number three. Yeah. Fresh shot of bed, head to head will play at 620. I got 30 seconds to Mars tickets for you in homeroom on the Fun Fact Flashback. And then in honor of our golf tournament, we're going to play closest to the pin in the 7 o'clock hour. We'll have Chili come in here and play to try to win those struts tickets. Glass Animals tickets at 820. Third row, a perfect circle, 910. Nikki Glazer tickets on Know the Show. And, uh, yeah, 80% chance of thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy. High of 75 today. I'm sure Tessa has more with Houston's headlines. Good morning. Yeah, those strong storms were moving through uh, southeast Texas, making for a messy morning commute for us, guys. Uh, power outages uh, right before 5 a.m. Center Point reported more than 135,000 customers without power. So uh, we're going to keep tracking those outages or some reports of hail even. Trees down. I mean, this is stuff we, we've kind of seen before. I traffic building now in certain spots. So a messy commute this morning. Allow yourself some extra time. It's just one of those days where you got to kind of let the bad weather do its thing. And it is expected to kind of roll out, which thankfully uh, we do have some golf course business to do later. So we'll be monitoring the weather. The Arizona Supreme Court is bringing back an abortion ban under a law from 1864, the law from when Arizona was still a U.S. territory bans all abortions except for risk to the mother. The previous law enforced in 2022 bans abortion after 15 weeks except except when the life of the mother is at risk. So that's a really big national story right now. Uh, switching it up, a little lighter stuff here, a uh, little more light stuff. Uh, PetSmart is having a contest where five winners will win a free tattoo. The idea is that you'd be covering up an old tattoo that you now regret with a new tattoo. How does PetSmart tie it in? Well, they want it to be of your beloved pet, okay? It's called Tattoo Redo. They'll fly you to L.A. for two nights. They'll give you a session with the tattoo artist. And, uh, yeah, you can do it in in one sitting, which wouldn't be cheap um, normally. That's so. pretty good promotion. That's yeah. pretty smart on them. Yeah, we have the link to that on one of our blog pages this morning. Hey, the trailer for this year's Joker sequel has been released, and it gave us a look at the film ahead of its October 4th release with Joaquin Phoenix reprising his role as a title character, along with Lady Gaga. Uh, Lady Gaga is Harley Quinn. Uh, is it a you- full trailer or a teaser trailer? Um, I... I think it's just a teaser. It's pretty short. Yeah, um, I think it's a short and it's uh, yeah. You got to have a teaser trailer before the trailer. Yeah, I mean this is a big deal. Uh, the original Joker grossed over one billion dollars, and it was the first R-rated film to ever do so. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. And then uh, the Crow remakes release date got pushed back. So Ooh. we have all that information on the entertainment blog page. Okay, Oasis getting back together. <sighs> I mean, no? look, Britney dances naked <laughs> on her gram for attention. Liam Gallagher saying, no, we're not doing this. Oasis bass player Andy Bell's remarks on an Oasis reunion verbally bopped him on the nose for raising fall hopes. Uh, despite Bell's comments, Liam dismissed any possibility of a reunion, urging everyone to move on. Um, Bell apologized for causing disappointment. That ended the exchange. little online spat on the music blog page for you today. Those are Houston headlines. I can't move on. I know. I can't. I know. Hi, Alex. Hello. Uh, anything in the sports yesterday? Uh, well, the Astros fell to the Royals 4-3 uh, to three in extra ew. innings. They'll Seriously? play the Royals again tonight. Spencer so Arigetti is going to be on the mound for the Strohs, making his first major league start. He is the Astros' top prospect as well. He'll be going up against Kansas City's Seth Lugo. First pitch is at 640. You can listen to it on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. And in the NBA, Rockets got a win last night. They beat the Magic 118-106. to 106. Fred Van Vliet had 37 points in the night to lead all players in scoring. They're going to have a day off today before they put the Jazz on the road tomorrow night. That is what's going on in sports. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I see some damage out in the Katy area. They're showing on the news right now. 
Uh, first phone call. It could be weather related if you want to talk about that or it's your time. Anything you want to get into on your first phone call. I'm here for it. Um, Chili's here for it. 713-212-5945. If you want that first phone call, come get it. The most interactive show on the radio starts right now. Here we go. Ninety-four five. The buzz. Third eye blind, semi charmed life. We are off and running. It's the uh, four hours of pain, known as the Rob Ryan Show. Today happens to be Wild Card Wednesday, and a lot, a lot to unpack here today. First, uh, it looks like everybody wants to talk about the weather and the road conditions out there. So we'll get to some uh, phone calls quickly. But yeah, thunderstorms, uh, mostly cloudy. But then it drops to like a 20% chance of rain later on today when we're playing golf. I mean, this afternoon is going to be fine. It's just how everything drains and everything. That's what we're worried about. But there's still a pretty decent amount of thunderstorms that are happening right now, mostly cloudy. 75 will be the high, but the golf tournament is on. Noon, shotgun start. All right, on the air today, Sexy James going for win number three. 
Fresh out of bed, head to head. 30 seconds, the Mars. We'll give you those tickets on the Fun Fact Flashback. We'll play closest to the pin. I'll explain how it works. The guys on the show got to do all the work. All you got to do is pick a horse and then let them see who crosses the finish line. Does Chili win this all the time? Uh, Does he win this one? I feel like he has won it. He has won. Oh, oh that means you won it last time. I don't know who won it last time. I don't, <laughs> I don't know either. The last time we played it. We haven't played it in a while. That's going to be to win those Struts tickets before they go on sale. Um, glass animals tickets. Third row for a perfect circle. We'll get to those tickets at around 9.10 today. Uh, is this Frankie Ford? It is. <laughs> Hi, Frankie. Hi, Frankie Ford. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, getting ready to go to Sasanta this weekend, and the traffic's really crappy today, so it's got a myriad of things. So you've got your A Perfect Circle tickets already? Uh, actually, yes. Yeah, since the pre-sale, I, um, I'm going. I got pit pass this weekend, and then wow. I'm driving to I'm driving to Phoenix to, to, for his birthday show, and then to San Diego also. So. Holy cow. You're that big of a Maynard <laughs> fan? You know, it's going to be awesome. I already saw Tool this year, and why not? It'll be a great vacation. Well, you and Alex it, can't shut up about I mean, it's, pu- <laughs> it's Pussifer. Pussifer's great. Are they? Oh, yeah. You got to watch the videos, though. It's wah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's not going to be happening when they're on the stage. Yeah. The videos aren't going to be happening. Well, maybe they'll have something just bring your phone. in the backdrop, maybe. Um, you can just watch that instead. Frankie, how are the roads? <laughs> are you out on the roads yet today? Um. I drove in from Huntsville, and right about Loop 336, the first one, like, uh-huh. you know, um, up there, it was a total road closure. So I don't know oh, what happened on the freeway, no. but most of the lights are out on 1488. So eh, it's a little sketchy, but all the street lights are on so far. Awesome. Okay. Well, listen, thank you. Thank you so much for getting us started today. This also is Frankie Ford. Better than Tool. You like this better than Tool? Oh, a million times better. I'd try to go see this guy if he's still alive. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. So we got another famous listener. That's Frankie Ford. Frankie uh, Ford. The, the other Frankie Ford. All right, guys. The song kind of slaps. The song does slap. Makes me want to twist and slap. shout. He's from Gretna, Louisiana. All right, let me take a short break. When we come back, at a rec check for you. We'll find out what's trending, and then we'll get set up for the fresh out of bed. Let's talk about a checking account. Okay, you got some options when you're in Houston, but the best checking account is over at Prime Wave Federal Credit Union. No, literally, if you're looking for the best checking account in Houston, Prime Wave Federal Credit Union is a place to go. You can earn up to 2% interest on your purchases. You have all the extras and peace of mind, like dark web monitoring. You get travel and leisure discounts, some telehealth in there, shopping rewards. And if you swipe your debit card a lot, you can get your monthly charges waived, okay? You want complete details? I I understand that. Go to primewayfcu.com. They have a user-friendly, easy online application. You can get your account opened online today. The good, better, and best checking accounts in Houston. Primewayfcu.com.
There's an overturn 18 wheeler on Highway 288, southbound between FM 1462 and Texas 288. So that's causing big slowdowns in the area. If you are going southbound on 288, they're saying taking FM 521 as an alternate is going to save you some time. Also, let's talk about high water. Two right lanes um, have stalled a couple of vehicles on I-45 southbound at Texas 336 loop. So traffic from T's Nursery Road that's in the Conroe area. Be aware there's high water on the east side on the East Sam Parkway southbound at Wallaceville Road. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Wild Card Wednesday. Yeah, some of you are letting you letting me know that you're in the dark. I think Hal's even having trouble with his generator. Rebecca, our uh, artist friend, no power since three thirty. Listening to us on an old boombox. Thanks goodness she's got the batteries in there. All right, Rebecca and everyone else. I hope we get your power back soon. I think we're over the worst of it. I, I think we're going to see nothing but tapering off on these storms. Let me know if it's raining in your area right now and if it's coming down. But uh, it seems to be everything is tapering off. Highs today of around 75. Nothing over a 20% chance of rain moving forward. Golf tournament today. What's trending? Okay, so our blog pages. You're looking at girls from yesterday with Jenna Jameson as the headline yeah. is doing number. It's that it's doing numbers. So it's number one today, followed by the Wild Card Wednesday. So those are our links that are performing really well right now. I think Jenna uh, yesterday turned five zero. Okay, the big five zero. Yeah, for, for JJ. For J.J. Masson. Okay. And then, obviously, weather is going to be a big story this morning. I just gave you your rec check. There's some high water on the roads. Um, so just be careful out there this morning. Please, please, please. More than a 1,000, more than 100,000 people without power uh, storms move through Houston this morning. And all the strongest storms have moved east now, so they have moved out. But what have they left behind? Like you said, standing water. Yeah. And some power outages as well. Ugh. Okay. Uh, well, that's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, everybody. This is three-time Hall of Famer Sexy James. So sorry. No womp pump chump here. I am your fresh out of bed, head-to-head, two-day champion. I'll say it again. I'm going to be on with you all week. Join me on Wild Card Wednesday as I make it win number three, bitches. Okay. Uh, can you beat this guy? 713-212-5945. Holla.
94.5 The Buzz, man. I always crank up the last 45 seconds of that song. It's just like Mike McCready going, look what I can do. <laughs> man, I love it. Love it. It's like Alex shredding on that Beastie Boys yeah. tune. I love it. Shredding at the end there. Good morning, everybody. I know it's wet. I know it's nasty out there. Be careful. Standing water. All of that stuff. But the worst of it is behind us. That's not helping any one of you that is sitting there with no power right now. So uh, I hope that gets restored quickly. But, yeah, the worst part of it is beyond us. The storms have moved east. So moving forward, 20% chance of rain. Hopefully the golf course is draining because we've got a golf tournament going on today. And, uh, and I'm excited about that for sure. Could be a little sloppy out there. I think we're going to have to stay on the cart paths. Um, let's play a game. Let's go. Sexy James. Good morning, Brother Rod. Good morning, my brother. What part of town are you on? Are you in? Cyprus. How is it? Nasty? Oh, it was, it was pretty nasty. I gave myself some extra time this morning. I woke up about 2.30. It was loud. Yeah, my dog's like, let me in. <laughs> yeah. Vu comes upstairs, let me in. Yeah, I'm it's, not hanging out down there by myself. It's Sorry. crazy outside. The least you could do is let me sleep on this bed with you, Okay. <laughs> Oh, Vu got yeah. to be in the bed. Yeah. And then I didn't go back to sleep. 2.30. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Sexy James is a three-time Hall of Famer. Brian is a two-time Hall of Famer. Yo, Big B. Good morning. Good morning. Have you uh, played with us yet this year? I have not. Last time I played was late last year sometime. No tournament of champions for you last year, though. When, when were you in the Hall last? <clears throat> uh, I went in in 21 and 22. I didn't make it last year. Okay, bro. Well, this is okay, going to be a great matchup. What, what are they playing for? I've got a pair of tickets to see Asking Alexandria this Saturday night at House of Blues. Okay. Here we go. Here's, it comes, uh, here comes the questions. We're listening for uh, James and Brian. And James, I don't know about. Like, James has been kind of sleeping on that first question. Yeah, here we go. True. James, Brian. Question number one. Okay, here we go. Uh, what sport are we playing today after the show? Brian. James. Brian. Brian. Golf. We are playing golf. I, I just said that, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian on the board. Hey, James, that uh, that guy that you beat, he emailed me back. He was not on the landline. Who'd you beat yesterday? Well, there kills my theory. <laughs> yeah, no, but who was it? What was his name again? Brian. Brian. No, think, Brian's, no I think they're... Brian's who you're playing now. Was it Brian yesterday? I think no, it Brian. I okay. Think, yeah, I think it was a Brian as he, well. He uh, he emailed me because he heard. Well, I think I was commenting on what you were telling me off air, and he said no, he's on. A, he was on a cell. Uh, this Brian here, you're on a cell. Yes, sir. James thinks everybody's against him. Um, next question, guys. James and Brian, what number comes after ten? Brian. Yes. Brian. Brian. Eleven. Smoke! <laughs> Hal's looking at me. That's Hal's question. Oh, Hal? Okay, well, Sexy James, you can beat up Hal. Yeah, get mad at Howard. Hal, everybody loves Hal. <laughs> numbers um, guy, big numbers guy. James, what's going on? You okay? I'm, I'm good. It's a delay, but, I mean, we all complain about it. It happens. Don't worry about it. I'm not complaining. No, no, no. I know you're not. I, I, no, we're I, asking. I was asking. I, I was pulling something out of you. Yeah. All right, James. Um, we got to say goodbye to you. And I, I don't think there's anybody that could have beat you today, Brian. I, I mean, <sighs> goats and goat hunters and you name it. Dude, you are on your game today. Back in it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, can you play tomorrow? Absolutely. Whew. I mean, you keep that up. I mean, no one's got a chance.
Hey, we got tickets to go see uh, Cutie Patootie over there. <laughs> it's 30 seconds to Mars and the kill. I've got some tickets he coming up. Cutie I, I've got some tickets coming up. AFI is opening up uh, for that show. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, 94.5 The Buzz. This is your Rod Ryan show, and it's a Wild Card Wednesday edition. Uh, free, as always. Not charging today. It's <laughs> absolutely free. <laughs> um, the thunderstorms, the worst of it is is behind us. It, everything has kind of moved to the east. They're getting pounded. It's heading right over to New Orleans. Um, so it's wet out there. It's rain. It, you know, it's drizzling. Some of you are telling me it's still drizzling where you're at. Um, and standing water. That's the thing that we're going to be kind of keeping an eye on. That's going to probably drive Tessa all nuts all morning, provided she sticks around for the rec checks this morning. Come on. I, I need no. you. I Come need, on. Don't bring up old stuff. I need you on those rec that checks That was today. one. Well, that was yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday's rec check. I forgot what time it was. Like Dude. Right, right before 9 o'clock. Everybody just walked out of the room. I'm just sitting here by myself. And it's like, hey, here's the rec check of the Rod Ryan show. I'm like, oh. And I'm like, give him the rec check. I don't have he cameras. He has no maps. He has no traffic I, report. I don't, I've got all the screens in front of me except that one. So we need you for those rec checks today. And, hey, new champion. You got me. Good morning, everybody. This is two-time Hall of Famer Brian. Now you're fresh out of bed, head-to-head, one-day champion. Sorry, ladies. I knew you thought Sexy James was going to be on all week. And now you got me. Mm-hmm. Join me on Thursday when I make it win number two. Bitches. Okay. Okay. I, James was James was getting smoked on the first question, and then he was coming back. He wasn't – he just never came back There today. was no comeback. He, he sounded a little sleepy today. Okay. Um, I brought in some fun facts, and then we'll get to those 30 seconds to Mars tickets. All right, I brought in some fun facts for you today. It seems like when you look, I I should have saved this for closest to the pin. We're going to play a little numbers game next hour. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's countless bubbles in a glass of champagne. Uh, Scientists just can't sit on that. They used to estimate that there are at least 15 million. Now, new research says it's less than you may think. It's about a million bubbles per glass of champagne. Ooh. That's, as I get older, I get bougier. And I'm telling you, I want Yuck. a nice glass of champagne when I walk in some room. Yeah. That's right. Are you, are you fine with the Prosecco? <laughs> yeah, the Prosecco's good. Okay. The Prosecco's good. And that one that you get, there's dupes out there. You don't, you don't have to pay a million dollars. Just put it in a nice stemware. I can't remember the name. I'm not trying to hold out no, on no, you. No, no, no. I know. You bring it in for all of our little like occasions. Like You'll bring it in for Christmas. You'll bring it in when we do like a toast or a cheers. And it's like 12 bucks. It's so Bell- good. Is it Bellator? Maybe. May- I've taken That's pictures of it on my phone. I think it's Bellator. But if you're too good for Andre or was it the other one that begins with a K, like, just get out of my face. Okay, let me get out of your face. Get out of my face. Let me Nobody's get out of your too, face. You're too I good am, for an I, $8 bottle? Get out of here. I am. I don't want that, stu- Goodbye. I don't want that stupid dry one. It all tastes the same. No, it doesn't. It all tastes the same. Get out of my room. It's champagne. Just drink <laughs> more of it. You'll get over it. Next fun fact. <laughs> Next fun fact. Um, the term hooker. This is Rod's favorite know her. term. The term hooker started on this show. Uh, no, it much before this show. It started in the in the 1820s when prostitutes mm. would hang out in a part of Manhattan called Corlear's Hook. Ah, heard about that place. It's a simpler time. You're gonna sound so smart <laughs> in front of your buddies today. My great, uh-huh. great, 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 great grandma. How about this chance encounter? Mick Jagger met Keith Richards randomly. They met each other at a train station, 1961. Mick was 18, Keith was 17, and Mick was holding a blues record, and Keith asked him about it, said, hey, what's that? They Uh started talking music. Uh, Now we have the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, 30 seconds to Mars tickets, right? Yeah. AFI, yeah. Woodlands Pavilion, August 29th. 
The USDA has 1.5 billion pounds of this stashed in caves in Missouri. And then somebody, didn't somebody send us a, a Facebook group? Rush the caves. Yeah. They can't stop us all. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is stashed away? It started 75 years ago. 713 212 5945. Yo, Hal. Brother Rod. Thanks for coming in this morning. Nasty on the way in on I-10? <sighs> yes. Coming in from the best side? Yeah, but not bad. I mean, it was moving. It's tapering off, and uh, we're going to be just fine for the golf tournament today. Just be a little wet out there. Uh, how we do on Wall Street yesterday? It was a mixed day on Wall Street. The Dow was down nine points to 38,883. NASDAQ up 52 to 16,000. 306 benchmark 10 year treasuries trading at a 4.35 percent and oil is at 85 dollars 70 cents a barrel to the most active of the big studs cisco nike and intel the big duds boeing amex and travelers on the economic calendar this morning we'll get numbers on the consumer price index for march right now futures looking pretty good on the upside hang on to this be a positive opening right here on wall street that's it i'm out here this is hal and manager director with raymond james Porter for the rod ryan show from raymond james on san felipe and augusta and don't forget to always rock out with your stock out Let's go. Time to spring into your dream home. If you're looking to buy your dream home, maybe refinance your current mortgage, borrow from the equity in your home, Shell FCU, they're here to help you build and achieve those dreams. Enter to win one of five $1,000 prizes when you finance a mortgage, home equity, or home equity line of credit this month, May, or June. Okay, not sure what option best fits your needs? Just ask my friends at Shell FCU. They're always helpful, informative, easy to work with. Visit Shell FCU online, shellfcu.org. Hey, it's your girl, Tessa. Right now, you can get 0% interest off for 72 months on all Silverados. Where? Where else? It's Classic Elite Chevy Sugarland. You can also get $15,000 off select Silverados, $4,000 off 2024 Tahoes, $7,500 off the 2024 Blazers. And always remember, employee pricing, that's for everyone at Classic Elite Chevy Sugarland. Together, let's drive. They're the GM dealer of the year now for 13 years in a row. So go over there, ask for Jeff or Tiffany Sebastian. Tell them that Tessa from The Buzz sent you. Check them out online too, www.classicalitechevysugarland.com.
Okay, guys, it's kind of a mess out there right now. There's an accident report on the east side, East Sand Parkway, southbound at Market Street. There's an overturned 18-wheeler causing delays on 288 um, between FM 1462 and Texas 288. And then high water in two right lanes in Conroe, I-45 southbound at the Loop, at 336 Loop. And then in Midtown, there's an accident before the downtown split on 69. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five. The buzz. Welcome back, Rod Ryan Show. Oh yeah. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Well, hello. Who's this? Uh, this is Jonathan, man. Jonathan, welcome to the fun fact flashback. The USDA has one point five billion pounds of this stashed in caves in Missouri. What is it? Uh, would that be cheese? Um, cheese. You got to say it like this. See, I knew that. <laughs> All right, uh, you win, Jonathan. What do you get? What are you giving, Jonathan? Okay, you get a pair of tickets to the Thirty Seconds of Mars at AFI concert. Congratulations! Awesome, thank you, guys. Bro, thank you. What part of town are you calling from? Uh, a Tascacita, Humble area. Has the rain tapered off? Uh, yeah. Thankfully, it, it stopped right before I left the house. Good. All right, that's so. great news. All right, great job on the show today, Jonathan. Have an awesome day. You too, bud. Thanks. Thank you. All right, Houston's headlines coming up next. This is Weezer, the buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. Come on. Come on. Wild Card Wednesday. Most of the nastiness is behind us as far as those pesky thunderstorms. Still going to be cloudy today. We're going to see highs of 75. Moving forward, about a 20% chance of rain. We're going to play. Uh, we got another game to play coming up called Closest to the Pin. That's how you're going to win those Struts tickets. We made that announcement on Monday. They're playing the House of Blues coming up. Tickets on sale this Friday. I'll tell you everything. You don't have to do much. All you got to do is just pick pick a, a member of the show and let them do all the work. But I'll explain everything coming up in just a little bit. Right now, uh, Tessa has Houston's headlines. Yeah, I'm going to lead with weather because that, uh, as you mentioned, Rod, that severe thunderstorm watch uh, for southeast Texas is no longer in effect. But many are waking up to what these powerful storms left behind overnight, right? So um, they're they're asking people to just be weather aware. Uh, People have seen a lot of lightning, heard a lot of thunder this morning, and uh, just overnight kind of got pounded right there were outages all I'm, I'm on the center point outage tracker right now over a hundred thousand customers affected right so they're doing their best to restore power to whoever is being affected by that now and uh, yeah just give yourself some time this morning um you know we know how to do this i we- mentioned rebecca who was without power listening to us on a boom box for homeroom mm-hmm. power just restored at her place so awesome. they're working awesome. they're, they're working to get you guys back up Uh, There's also a local story I wanted to mention because it is awful. Uh, A Houston woman is in custody, so she's accused of stealing a woman's purse at a cemetery along with other thefts. This chick is committing crimes at cemeteries. Um, They say she reportedly stole a woman's purse from her car at the Forest Park Lawndale Cemetery while the victim was cleaning her daughter's grave. Yeah, they have security of her using the victim's credit card at a nearby Walgreens. A short while later, she's charged with motor vehicle burglary she's charged with credit card abuse and investigators say she's done this like she has three similar crime charges and is a suspect in eight more cases so yeah absolute scumbag seriously like the yes. worst well, of the, the worst, worst yeah suspect she's a cemetery purse snatcher is what they're calling her that's what i say they're saving the hottest seat in hell for that person yeah. like yeah, it is. It is disgusting. It's it's absolutely disgusting. Right. Um, insult to injury there, but uh, it is a local story I wanted to mention. Okay, uh, would your ideal vacation include a short flight or going somewhere for a long drive? A poll found seventy three percent of Americans prefer to road trip it when possible. The average person has been on sixteen road trips in their lifetime, and according to the poll, here are the five best best parts of a road trip. Seeing new landscapes and scenery, that's my favorite part. Listening to music on the radio. Woo! So we 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 came second to nature, you know. That's Mother okay. Earth. I'm I'm okay with that too. I'm okay with that too. Uh three, getting a break from your normal routine. Uh four, 25% of people really just like driving. They just really like being out on the open road. I cannot relate at all uh, and then there's a tie between trying local food along the way and getting to your destination no matter how good the trip is getting there is always fun um i if i have the choice i would rather fly i i hate it but i'm just so impatient i like to get to my destination but the couple i've only been on like three really good road trips and they were all fantastic i went so, last year yeah i went you, across texas i did a texas road trip i made it all the way out to uh big Marfa. bend Oh, Big Bend. Big Bend. That's on my bucket list. Okay, see, I am going to get on a road trip and do that. I went to Big Bend and then Marfa. Skip Marfa. Everybody. Not going to skip Marfa. Skip Marfa. Don't skip it. It sucks. Uh, Let's talk about your entertainment news. Uh, Kit Harington... Uh, his return as Jon Snow on a Game of Thrones spinoff is no longer happening, at least for now. He yeah, said Jon Kurt- Snow died. Everybody knows that. Well, it, there was like, going to be this spinoff, and they, I guess they were gonna, it was going to be like before he died. Listen, we live in a multiverse now. You don't know. The Game of Thrones really multiverse. <laughs> I didn't watch Game of Thrones. He died, talking. but I'm not going to tell you. Spoiler alert. He was alert. when winter was coming, no, no, dude. No, but he di- dude, he dies. They but stab comes him, again. and then he comes back alive. Oh, what? Dude, I'm telling you. It's weird. Okay, 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 okay. He says, there may be a Crazy. time in the future when we return to it, but at the moment, it is firmly on the shelf. Kit also mentioned that he never wanted it leaked in the first place. He didn't want the fans to start making theories or getting excited when it wasn't definite. But too late. It already happened. He was clearly. I'm not gonna watch now because it's. But he was clearly such a breakout star of that. He really was. 
And he hasn't done a whole lot since. He really hasn't. He's a little fella. Mm-hmm. I think he's a little guy. But he was such a strong character. So good. I mean, look at Jeremy Ellen White, the bear we love. He's Jaw. A, he's he's a, on. But he's a little guy, too. And he's yeah. got work. All these, all these actors are, are about, my height. Yeah. What about the guy that played Bran? What's he up to? Bran's not doing anything. He's the winner. <laughs> oh, good choice of song. Okay. Twisted Sister has been dormant for eight years. They never intended to get back together, but they might not be able to resist for much longer. Uh-huh. Dee Snyder says as a result of all the bands retiring and dying, the offers get bigger and bigger for the holdouts to come back. That's what we're going to call them from now on, the holdouts. If your band's not reuniting and going on tour, you're a holdout. Like Oasis, they're holdouts. At some point, uh, you've got to say- we can call them hoes. Yes, hoeouts. <laughs> we'll, he's like, how can I say no to that? Like At some point, he says the numbers are just going to get too- um, enticing he say they he said they have some very general discussion in case the offers reach that can't refuse level um but yeah that's what uh slayer did they were the one band that i said wow they retired and they really stay they 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 step they they stayed done yeah and then a couple like five or six festivals came to them with money that they just had never been offered before Okay, we'll do it. So wow. he's just he's just telling us that they're going to do it. Yeah, you know, and it's, I'm not I'm not it, it's not it's not a bad thing. It's just the money's there. You can't say no to it. Yeah, those are using headlines. Was I want to rock or we're not going to take it? The bigger twisted sister. Oh, not song. even close. We're not going to take it. Yeah, not even close. I think I want to rock's a better song. It, it is. is a better song. Um, Astros fell to the Royals, four to three in extras last night. They're going to play the Royals again tonight. Spencer Arghetti is going to make his major league <laughs> debut be for Italian. the Astros. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Arghetti. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> like it's, spaghetti. It's spaghetti. It right. is it's perfect. Uh, he's the Astros' <laughs> top prospect, so that'll be a, a really cool thing to see tonight. He's going to be going up against Kansas City's Seth Lugo. First pitch is at six forty. You can listen to it on our sister station, Sports Talk seven ninety in the NBA. Rockets got a win. Last night, they beat the Magic 118-106. to Fred Van Vliet had 37 points on the night to lead all players in scoring. They're going to have a day off today before they play the Jazz on the road tomorrow night. That is what's going on in sports. Come on. It's your brother Rod talking about this revolutionary weight loss medication. It's called Revelex. It's the newest prescription available only from Red Mountain Weight Loss, who have been in the weight loss game for a long, long time. They know what they're doing over there, but man, no one has seen anything like this in recent years. All the buzz is about semaglutide. That's been FDA approved for weight loss. Well, semaglutide is the main ingredient in Revelex. It's half the price, though, of the other semaglutide meds out there. That's why Red Mountain is kind of standing alone on this whole thing. And it comes in a full-strength daily tablet, so you will not have to give yourself a shot. It's attracting all the social media right now, all the celebrity attention right now. It's being hailed as this new wonder drug. Semaglutide, FDA-approved medication, proven to help you lose weight, losing up to 15 pounds per month. Full strength Revelex in stock. Okay, there are no back orders right now. Schedule an appointment. Get started on Revelex today. Available only by that prescription through Red Mountain. Dial pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. High water, two right lanes. Uh, There's stalled vehicles in Conroe, I-45 southbound at the 336 loop. There are big slowdowns in Brazoria, 288 between FM 1462 and Texas 288, Brazoria. So going southbound, FM 521 is going to be your alternate route. There was an overturned 18-wheeler in this area. And then in Midtown on 69, before the downtown split going northbound, uh, traffic from the Buffalo Speedway due to an accident. Bissonette, Richmond, those are some alternate routes for you. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. On a truly wild, wild card Wednesday, man. That weather was wild this morning. I told you guys, I got up about about 2.30 and I was done. Uh, that was it. I, I wasn't going back to bed, but alarm was going off at 3.15. It's 2.30. My dog's jumping on me, trying to get in the bed. It was really wild out there. Uh, you took Wheezy out to go to the bathroom this morning? I mean, my dog will not go outside when it's raining. Uh, yeah, Wheezy jumped up on the bed. Our power was going in and out. We have those Wi-Fi <laughs> lights that, like, you can do through your phone. And so when the power goes out, whenever it comes back on, all the lights in our house are on. <laughs> so that right, kept right, happening yeah. throughout the night. And Wheezy was just on the bed, off the bed, on the bed, off the bed. And I took her out this morning. And we usually do, like, a nice little walk. And she went, did her business, and was right back at our gate. Like, let's go back inside. I'm not doing this to you. Yeah, it was, uh... <laughs> they hate the rain. I had to... I, you know, Vu just goes out in my yard. I got a gate. I, I got to put her on the leash, drag her out there. I'm like, you go to the bathroom. Come on. It's raining. You're a dog. I mean, yeah. come on. Um, Chile was talking uh, in his neck of the woods. So there were some tornadoes. So Chile's out in uh, K-Town on the best side and pretty close to your house, dude. Yeah. On, on South, <laughs> what, on South Mason? Yeah, there was a tornado right there, man. It ruined a couple bars. That and... Bourbon Street bar? Yeah. Yeah, it's right no, down no. the street from the house. That's where it, it hit. Alex kind of grew up in K-Town. You know that Bourbon Street bar. Yeah. Well, actually, it's the mean streets of Katy, but, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. Um, we used to party at Bourbon Street. Yeah, that, that place got uh, got hit, man. It ruined Tornado. Kingsland, right? Yeah. Like, Kingsland, Mason destroyed. and Kingsland. Yeah. yeah. That's not far from my buddy Mo. Moe's. No, Moe's right, like on one street over. Moe's is right across the street? Yeah. 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 I, I haven't had a Moe's night in a long time. Oh, uh, man, you're talking about blacking out. Oh, my God, that bar. Sounds like we're making plans then. <laughs> Are we making a plan? Oh, I'm down. A Moe's night? I'm down night? for a Moe's night. I am down for a Moe's night. And it's walking distance from me, so I'm good. We can say it. We can have a slumber party over at Chili's. Chili. Sleepover. Hey, y'all can all have one dog to sleep with y'all. Oh, <laughs> Thank <yes>. you. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I, I hope you guys are okay. I mean, oh, I just got a message from Roger. Roger is the uh, director of our golf tournament. Our golf tournament's happening today. Uh, I don't see anything over a 20% chance of rain. As a matter of fact, it drops down to almost nothing uh, moving forward for a, a lot of the hours that we're going to be golfing. It's just hopefully everything is draining right now. I got to go get a white T-shirt. Um, Ooh, Sam. You guys are doing white t-shirts? Like, Why not? Like a wet t-shirt contest Ooh, for the twins? Yeah. No wonder. You gotta go to the gravy nice. hole and the chili hole. Here we go. This is uh, Roger. Good morning. He's at the hotel. He stays close because he's out in Lake Houston. Skies are gray. No rain. Party is on. Let's go. Boy, does that make Let's me go. happy. Mm, All right. Yes. Golf tournament is happening, baby. Is it 10 yet? <sighs> no. What if, sorry. We just, what if we just started early? Yeah. We're going to play kind of a, a game. Because we're doing the golf tournament, we're going to play a game. It's called Closest to the Pin. And mm. I have prepared a bunch of things for the game. Uh, I was getting that together yesterday after the show. Chili's going to come in here. Uh, we can explain this after the break. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to. Okay, we can explain this after the break, and we'll get then we'll get you guys calling in. But uh, either Alex, Tessa, or Chile is going to win you those struts tickets uh, on a little game coming up. So don't go anywhere. Oh, those love streets. They're on ice. Or they will be. They will be shortly. Ice cold love streets. All day today on the golf course, which is makes me realize, man, I need to get out on the course a little bit more often. But, man, I want to thank everybody over at the Carbach Brewery for jumping right in and becoming a main, main sponsor of today's golf tournament, all uh, sponsoring Texas Adaptive Aquatics. So don't miss out on the next one, guys. You know this one sold out quickly, but, you know, we're going to hopefully do another one uh, in October, and I hope Carbach will be on board with us again. Love Street, so excited to be with them. Love Street is that state of mind. Carbachbrewing.com. Love Street Blonde, I'm coming! Music to your beer.
Okay, traffic lights aren't working on Highway 249, Tomball Parkway, both north and southbound at Chasewood Park, so you treat that like a four-way stop on the northwest side there. Uh, they also aren't working on FM 1960 eastbound and westbound at 59 East Tech. They're not working at Greens Road, both east and westbound at JFK. So anytime you see those flashing lights, remember, just to pack a little patience and treat it like a four-way stop. That's your rec check on 84.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Told you it's free, man. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. I mean, what are we going to charge you for this? Thunderstorms. The worst is behind us, man. That's it. All we got to do is kind of just drain, dry out a little bit. There is some standing water. There is some power outages still to deal with. But as far as the storms, boom, that is way east of us now. Louisiana, Mississippi. That storm just like just cooked right along. So we're fine the rest of the day. Just got to dry out. What's trending? They're trying to get rid of Lunchables. There's a push to get rid of no. Lunchables off school menus because they have a lot of sodium in the, in them. They have uh, nearly 200 more milligrams of sodium than the store-bought Lunchables. They, so, uh, there's a big story on the food blog page today about that. Yeah. So the school version of the Lunchable has so much salt in it. And, um, yeah. I mean, you got you to go That's charge. That's why we like board. it. <laughs> when you have meats and cheeses sitting out forever and they don't go bad... That's bad. I don't care. <laughs> it's delicious. Preservatives, Alex. Ever heard of them? Grow up, Peter Pan. Okay, the city of Cleveland, Cleveland designated the former home of Jesse Owens as a historic landmark. So if you didn't know, Jesse Owens lived at, at home when, at the same time when he won four gold medals in Germany in 1936. Oh, that was the F you to Hitler. Dude, Hitler yeah. hated that. Yes, yeah. that was the best. So uh, the Cleveland Restoration Society is working with the home's current owner on external renovation, and they plan to bring back some of the history from the Owens era. That movie is really good. I think it was just a Netflix movie, because I definitely didn't see it in theaters, but the movie they did on Jesse Owens' life with his coach, who was it? It's Ted Lasso is his coach. I don't know that I saw that. Yeah. Jason Sudeikis? Jason Sudeikis is his coach in the Jesse Owens movie. Mm -hmm. It's really well, good. When was this? It, it was recently. It was like within the last year. Jesse really? Owens. Uh, yeah. I don't remember uh, that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. I want to see it. it. You guys would like it. You guys would really like it. Okay, I'll get you I'll get you the detail to that, and I'll actually uh, tweet it out as well. And then, of course, our Wildcard Wednesday is now uh, the number one blog page. It finally surpassed yesterday's Looking at Girls blog page, which went viral because it was Jenna Jameson's 50th birthday. So that's what's trending on 94.5 The Buzz. Ah, calming music. The Hello, Masters. Friends. Get my paper ready. Okay, um, well, we have a golf tournament today. Masters starts tomorrow? Yeah, they're doing the par three contest today. On CBS. Sorry. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, we have a game that we can play. It's called Closest to the Pin. And uh, it's you guys, golf. Do you guys have paper and pen? Yep. You want to try it? Just, uh, just do let it. me see how you guys Let's do, do it. Uh, and then we'll have Chili come in for the real game. But one of the things that I might ask, now I won't, uh, please, and you have to write down your answers quite quickly. I don't want right. you Googling it. How tall <laughs> in feet is the Eiffel Tower? How many feet tall, Tessa? So many feet. All um, the feet. <laughs> Every I, foot. It's probably, it's <laughs> probably write like, it down. Okay. The game is called, the game is called write it down. The game is not <laughs> called write it down. <laughs> it is now. You guys, I don't know. <laughs> How many okay. feet? In feet, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? Please uh, check in with your answers to me. Uh, Alex, what say you? 169, 169 feet. feet. You're a jackass. I put 57,550 um, <laughs> feet. I feel like feet. I'm closest. <laughs> I feel like I'm closest. <laughs> I wanted to put 50,000, then I wanted to put a two, and then I was like, no, 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 50. 50 what is your final answer? Yeah. 57,550 feet. I'm right, right. <laughs> what is it? 
984. How is Alex closer with his stupid answer? So I just should have, like, multiplied mine by more. Uh, No, you should have really gone. Oh, my God. All right. Well, well, how tall is 50,000 feet? Who do you want to pick, guys? He seems really tall. <laughs> want to take that? <laughs> That's a good practice shot. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to practice my numbers oh, during the break. so much better during I'm the game. Take, no, during the break, I am going to practice my numbers. I'm serious. Chili, line up somebody. I'm going to practice my numbers. Line up somebody that wants to be on Team Chili, <laughs> yeah. Team Tessa, uh, and Team Alex. Um, <laughs> Don't. Closest Submerge. to the pin. I had something in my throat. 713-212-5945. 50,000 feet. Closest to the pin. Coming up. Smash it, pumpkins, baby! 94.5 The Buzz. That's today. Today is going to be the greatest day. Yeah, it is. Today already is the greatest day. You kidding me? It's a great day. It's a great day to have a great day, Alex. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And your twin's in the room with us? Now, Chili, you're going to have better. to. better. And Chili, is not in the room. You are going to have to teach these kids how to play this game. I'm trying, man. Tasty I'm going to try. You've won before. I've won before in the old building. Okay. I was undefeated in that old building. I missed that old building. I'm not even going to ask you what's the problem here. (laughs) Where to begin? Uh, Guys, I hope you're off to a great start to your day. I hope those of you that are without power are getting restored soon. It was some wicked, wicked storms last night. That's for sure. 
Uh, Chili said he was up at around 2.30 as well. Yeah, it was. There was no going back to sleep nah, after that. Nah, um, So the thunderstorms, all the worst, is behind us. We are doing the golf tournament today, all benefiting Texas Adaptive Aquatics. I'm so excited to see all of you out there today. Be a little sloppy, but we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> we like sloppy. Um, we, an- we announced the struts <laughs> on Monday. We stole that from Jeremy. Uh, the struts are going to be at the House of Blues on July 23rd. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. Ah, uh, I've been working on my numbers this uh, whole time. Closest to the pin. I just can't do the whole game like that. It's, Why not? It's time for closest to the pin. The master. <laughs> On CBS. Good morning. Is this Michael? This is Michael. Michael. Hi, Michael. Who's going to play for you today? Me. Uh, Alex. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, he was closer. He can't. You can't put down sixty nine for everything, dummy. Uh, did it work last time? <laughs> it did. Uh, That's what 100% I'm worried about today, Michael. I'm worried about him putting sixty nine on everything. Four twenty as well. Him. Okay. Sixty nine, ninety six. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Hang on. Let's talk to August. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, August. Who's playing for you? I'm going for Chili. Chili. the quarter and he won. August. Uh, Augusta Pines. How about that? Augustus. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You got a good shot here. Jeff, on no, the other don't. hand. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Good morning. How's um, it going? You, uh, you wanted Tessa? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? I knew it. All right. Well, you got her. So, congrats. Um, Jeff. You did it. Team Tessa. <laughs> Me I'm, and Jeff. I'm gonna, My name's Jeff. My name's Tessa. I'm going to ask you guys. Uh, you're going to have to write down your numbers. Everybody's got paper and yes. Sharpie? Yes. Okay. Let's start this game, Let's guys. Let's get this show on the road. You got to get three to win. Okay. Hmm. That's snakes. Three, that's Might take a while. One more than two. Go. Time to play <laughs> closest to the pin. First question. How many dots in mm. total, big ones and small ones, are on a Pac-Man board? Mm. Uh, <laughs> like the video game or? The video game, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the old one at Pizza Hut? Yeah, yeah. The stand up oh, the stand up or the sit down one, same amount of dots. How many dots on that board, Tessa? <laughs> Don't look at me. Okay, I'm ready. All right, please hold up your answers. What do you got? Chili. 2,000 dots. I mean, boy, you better be hungry. What do you got? 96. 96. It's like 69 Stop. in a mirror. Okay. <laughs> 1,800. <laughs> Alex is closest. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? There are 244 dots. How long does it? I, I thought mean, it was like it could be more than in? a couple hundred is what I was thinking. Why'd you put 96 I didn't, 96 want to then. I didn't want to go over. I didn't know if that was really Stupid. Two, 244 dots. Alex, closest to the pin. Nailed it. Got to get not three even, of these. Not even 300 dots. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good restaurant, though. Dots. dots. Good candy. Dip and dots. Okay, this is good for today. What is the average number of dimples Ooh. on a golf ball? Oh. I was thinking of a stripper. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> It could be the same number, Chili. The places you hang out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the host is quick. <laughs> it's hey the yo. dimples that what did it I for me. I don't know this. I know. You nobody knows <laughs> You're this. Guessing. We're all guessing. Closest to the pin, please. How what is the average number of dimples on a golf ball? I need answers, please. <laughs> all right. I can go first. I got uh, 80. Ooh. Okay. 80 for Alex. 96 for Chile. 500. Okay. Hold up your answers. 500. You, you got to hold them up. 80, 96, and 500. Right? Oh, what? You win Tessa on us? Hang Take, on. <laughs> doing you said numbers? 90, Chili? 96. 96. You said 96? Yeah. Are you in math? Yeah. I have to. Hey, good job, Chili. That means hey, hey. somebody's close. There's 336. Oh, Chili damn. gets the square. <laughs> well done, Chili. Chili. Chili gets the square. Do you even golf, bro? Yes, dude. <laughs> How about Tessa? Chili knows. Hey, I don't know the answer. <laughs> but, no, I don't think anybody walking around with that knowledge. It's like hard. All right, here we go. Maybe someone gets this one. Maybe someone gets a hole in one. Ooh. How many children does former NFL quarterback Philip Rivers have? Ooh. How many children? Oh. Don't know cheating. Oh, no we, looking at anybody else's no. paper. <laughs> Closest to the pin. Closest to the kid on this one. 
closest to the kid. Please submit your answers. 12 for Tessa, 11 for Alex, 8 for Chile, 10, Alex is closest. Dang Ooh. it! I thought he had a full starting Dude, lineup. He's had, got 10 he's kids. He's almost got a full starting yeah. lineup. If, he, if it was him, he has a full starting lineup, including himself. Yeah, he could play quarterback. Obviously, he'd play quarterback. Wow. Right? Well, you don't know. All right, here we go. Let's get Tessa in this game. Please. Oh, you're here? Yes. I'm trying. How many? Me and Jeff. How many combined calories? Mm, you got me there. Big Mac, large fries, mm. and a large soda. Oh, not geez. diet. How many combined calories, Tessa? Okay. The Big Mac, the fries, and the large soda. Not diet. Okay. Combined calories. Please submit your answers. Alex is one away from winning this game. Alex, you better not win. All right, here we go. Please hold up your answer. Tessa, 4,600. 4,269. 4,269. Mm. <laughs> Jackass. 5,000. That secret sauce. Actual combined calories is 1,373. Alex with oh, the yeah! Alex! 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 Jump in the lake. Uh, How about that? He was playing for Michael yeah. this morning. How about that? Michael! Yeah. Your, your boy Great came through. Money. He did it. Yes, he did. Your boy, <laughs> your boy came through. Dumb game. Chubbs would be proud of you. <laughs> that was for Chubbs. Um, I thought it was going to be much higher on the calories as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that one I can't even bust balls on. I figured everybody's going to go high, so you got to go a little lower. Um, what has Michael won? Tell him, Alex, 69 something. It's not my job. <laughs> yeah. Pair of tickets to see the struts July 23rd at the House of Blues. Congratulations, Michael. Are you going to protect the family, Michael? Yes, I am. Thank you. Great. <laughs> All right. Was it a great job? Normally, I like. I, I when think I, it was. When I get done with the game, I'm like, great job, everybody. Um, great job, me. Pretty good job, everybody. <sighs> Here's some 41, 94, 5, the buzz.
Come on. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. Sum 41 and Fat Lip. They're coming to town. It's their farewell tour. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, concert calendar always uh, logging onto the mainframe at thebuzz.com. Uh, Ashley with an I beat all of you with her answer. No, she said me. No, Congratulations. <laughs> what did you win? No, you didn't. <laughs> Now, I, I trust her, but she did send me. She goes, here's all my answers for the questions that you asked. Yeah, you she, could fill them in later. She won. After you heard the answer. Yeah, she you won. Google it, too. Cheater. And then, according to Chili, somewhere, there's a kid that started playing Pac-Man in the 80s, and he's still trying to clear all 5,000 <laughs> dots. He's not. That could be, like, level four. <laughs> we don't know. Trying to clear all 57,000 dots on that one page. Expert level. He's still on the front page of Pac-Man since the 80s. It takes forever. <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> 5, Not enough to know it. 5,000, Chili said. Okay. Uh, you know what? I, damn it. I'm out of time, too. I got the Wiener Hole question up. Ah, so, the Wiener Poll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Wiener Hole is on the poll. And guys, do you use your Wiener Hole when going to the bathroom? Okay? Like in the panties, in the undies? 52% of our audience never. 22% of our audience, sometimes, Alex had a whole thing why he uses the wiener hole once in a while. It's weird. I've never dragged my rocket through that hole. Not once. Well, not uh, all of us are skilled enough. 25% of us, 25% of our audience always uses the wiener hole. I, I, didn't, think, I didn't even think it was going to be one. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be one just because I'm, I'm living in my own little bubble here. I've never yeah. used it once. No wiener holes here. None. Holeless. Never once. I have them there. It just, it's nonsense that it's even available to me. Yo, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about QC Kinetics. This is that time of year, too, man. You want to get out there and you want to enjoy life? Like what? Today, we're out there on the golf course. Yeah, stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want to do this spring. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management that we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs. These are no longer your best options, okay? Regenerative medicine at QC is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking about natural biologic. You already have this in your body. Using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged joint tissue. QC Kinetics, under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Shinecup. He's a pioneer in this field. He wants to get your relief with a needle and not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 
Okay, Conroe is still having a high water issue on I-45 southbound at Loop 336. So traffic, there's some stalled vehicles there uh, and, and traffic from T's Nursery Road to be aware of. Also, lots of traffic lights not working, guys. You always treat that like a four-way stop. Highway 249 north and southbound at Bamel, at Fallbrook, at Hollister, at uh, north and southbound at, at Chasewood Park. Okay, so those are those are all reported as not working traffic lights, just blinking. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Here we go. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for starting your day off with us. We got uh, all that nasty weather behind us, uh, leaving behind some standing water in some areas, power outages. This one's talking about all these lights that are out. It's a four-way stop when the traffic signal is not working. I'm sure she's going to talk more about this. But, yeah, the worst of it is behind us now. Today, cloudy. High of 75, low chances of rain moving forward. We've got the golf tournament later on this afternoon. Don't worry, we'll take lots of pictures. That's nice when that happens. I thought you were like, we're not going to take lots of pictures. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. What, that was like a dramatic pause. Hey, JK, we're not. No, we are going to take lots of pictures. <laughs> and uh, you're bringing the TV cameras out, huh? Yeah, I'm going to go live. So I'm going to talk to Roger early on. I'm going to do like the serious, like important interview early. With me? Uh, no, with uh, Roger, and wow. then, who is the president uh, of Texas Adaptive Aquatics. I just Aquatic. hit a 69. And, <laughs> and then I'll that do... Won the game. Lord knows what with Rod. There's never any plan with Rod. He refuses to be scripted. Yes. He is anti-establishment. But I'm going to find you, bud. I'm and wild. I'm going to talk to you uh, on live television. I'm like a wild stallion. Okay? Yeah, my, my photog is worried about that. He's like, uh, do you think uh, we're going to be chasing around Rod on a golf cart again? Could, could Rod stand still for his cutaway? <laughs> All right, what do you got for uh, Houston's headlines? Okay, so this morning we know there were thunderstorms, heavy rain, there was lightning, strong winds, there was damage done to buildings. Uh, there there was a, a couple of KD businesses damaged by these severe storms, right? So that's what the guys were kind of talking about over on the west side. Um, but... Some places got up to four inches of rain, but the rain is now moving east. It's moving into Louisiana this morning. So we're looking like peaks of sunshine in the rest of our Wednesday. So that's good. It. Yeah, me too. That'll be good for the for the 
golf tournament. And then a lot of people talking about the art cart parade this weekend. There's a crawfish fest with KPRC too. So I think we're going to have good weather for those things. Um, fingers crossed. So that's the big story is the weather. And then uh, Alex, are you running Millie Vanilli for this story? <laughs> I was told to do this. <laughs> Flame it on the rain. <laughs> All right. Okay. All Just right. so you know. Just so you know. Um, if you didn't know, uh, the Arizona Supreme Court is bringing back an abortion ban under a law from 1864. This is the big serious story this morning. The law was from when Arizona was still a U.S. territory. It bans all abortions except for risk to the mother. The previous law enforced in 2022 bans abortion after 15 weeks except when the life of the mother is at risk. So a lot of people talking about that this morning. Uh, Let's switch gears. If you have tattoos that are over a decade old, you might have a tattoo that you regret. A survey says 49% of people have a tattoo that they don't like or know someone who does. So PetSmart has this new contest, right? And five lucky winners will get a free tattoo. The idea is that you're covering up an old tattoo that you now regret with a new tattoo of your beloved pet. It's called Tattoo Redo, and they fly you out to LA for two nights. They'll cover your session with a tattoo artist. Um, it, it's got to be a small one that can be done in a sitting. Like, you're not going to get a full back piece on them. Sure. This will be like $2,500 or less, which is still a lot of money. Tattoos are not cheap. So you can go uh, apply. We have the link, and you can send in an old, uh, you can send in a photo of your old tat and the pet that will inspire your new ink. If you already have a tattoo of your pet, you can share a photo of it, and they'll give you a top tier status in their loyalty program. What about getting a tattoo of Wheezy over that tattoo on yeah, your butt cheek? On your butt cheek. I probably wouldn't get it over that. I would just get you just want my it. own individual tattoo of Wheezy. <gasps> Wheezy is very photogenic. Vu, Vu does hates not the camera. like pictures. No, she looks like she's abducted. <laughs> every oh my picture gosh. she takes. But in person, she's so sweetie. Can't, but she does look abducted every time. And can I get those teeth in her mouth? Okay. There's always at least That's one. What I like about her. There's always at least one sticking out. Okay, if you haven't checked out Joaquin Phoenix okay. and Lady Gaga in the teaser. I just watched. Okay, what do you think? It looks amazing. It T- does look good, right? It's Todd Phillips, right? How do you say the name? Folia Du? Folia Du? Oh, yeah, I don't know. But okay, Joker Folia Du. Jo- Joaquin Phoenix is perfect. Um, he looks skinnier, if that's possible, than the first Joker. Um, God, he's so good at this role. He's better at this role than... Than Robert Downey Jr. is at Iron Man, who's the best, right? This is just perfect for him. This makes me really um, believe the storyline. Like, Joker is a fictional character from, you know, we've had comic books and Batmans. But the way they're tying it in with the flashbacks and the mental health and, and you know, Lady Gaga sees sees him in the prison, in the yeah. trailer. And they you it looks like love at first sight. And it's like, this is a storyline that is so believable. Like, two, like, kind of like crazy people, they fall for each other. And then, like, chaos ensues. It hits theaters October 4th. This is going to put him, if there's even a question about, okay, him or Heath Ledger, right? And mm-hmm. I know Heath passed away and all of that, but it, I don't think it comes close. I think this is the Ooh, Joker. Oh, I don't know. I, I is, don't think I agree with they that. They both won Academy Awards. I, d- I, just, I just don't. I think with the fact that it's a one-off with Heath and it was just... I, I don't know. I think this is just so different. I think it's so wonderfully different. And that original Joker, the one you're talking about with um, with he, Joaquin, yeah. with Joaquin, that grossed over a billion dollars. So people probably, more people probably agree with you on this. Um, it was the first R-rated film to gross over a billion dollars. The one with Heath Ledger is just so iconic. And the fact that he passed away, I don't know. I just, yeah. that, that one will... I, that one's hard to top. Go check out the trailer. It's on Links and Guests. And the look of it, what Todd Phillips does, and, this, you know, I'm no, I'm no movie expert, but the cinematography, the way that it looks, it just, it looks like I have to see it on the big screen. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty awesome. I love Lady Gaga as well. Liam Gallagher has responded to former Oasis bass player Andy Bell's recent comments about an Oasis reunion. And he's like, dude, you're getting people's hopes up. He mentioned now Bell had mentioned the possibility of a reunion during an interview saying, yeah, they probably will. I think they'll probably do it. I don't think it looks likely right now, but life is is long, isn't it? Gallagher was pretty upset about the remark. He went to the ex and saying Andy Bell from Ride the Shoe Gazing Phenomenon should really not be getting people's hopes up. It's not big and it's not clever. Oof. Um, so. Yeah, you can go uh, look at the back and forth between that because Bell did end up apologizing for uh, causing disappointment and that kind of ended the exchange on Twitter or the X. Those are Houston's headlines. 
Take it, Alex. The Astros fell the Royals 4-3 to three in extra innings last night. They're going to play them again tonight. Spencer Aragetti is going to be on the mound for the Strohs. He'll be going up against Kansas City's Seth Lugo. Aragetti is the Astros' top prospect making his Major League debut. First pitch is at 640. You can listen to the game on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. In the NBA, the Rockets got a win last night. They beat the Magic 118-106. to Fred Van Vliet had 37 points in the night to lead all players in scoring. They're going to have a day off today before they play the Jazz on the road tomorrow night. Night. That is what's going on in sports. All right. Thanks, guys. Yay. It's your brother Rod. Talking about QC Kinetics, regenerative medicine, natural biologics. These are all things you're, you're asking, well, what? These are things that you have in your body that can help to cure that pain, the pain management that has been going around and what they've been doing with surgery, steroids, and drugs, these are no longer your best options, okay? If you're tired of achy joints, you want to get rid of that joint pain, it's keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. Natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore the damaged tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director, Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup. Now, Dr. Scheinkup is a pioneer in this field. He's got 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, publishing. He wants to get your relief with a needle and not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. It's a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime. Call QC Kinetics for a free consultation, 713-913-5285, 713-913-5285, 713-913-5285. Okay, uh, they're stopping going mile in 610 between Beechna and Post Oak Boulevard going northbound. That's about a 15-minute delay. Lots of traffic lights not working here. People use a lot of caution. Highway 249 and Tomball Parkway. So north and southbound going both ways at Bamel, at Fallbrook, at Hollister, at Chasewood Park. None of these traffic lights are in service right now, so treat it like a four-way stop. There's also an accident reported in Galveston County, I-45 northbound at Holland. This is like Lamarck area. Northbound at Holland, traffic is stopped from FM 2004. That's your rec check on Ninety four five the buzz.
Come on. Come on. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rob Ryan Show. Halfway point of the show, people. 806. Thunderstorms behind us. Everyone seems to be pretty uh, amped up about the golf tournament today. I am as well. We got to wrap up our work. Uh, this is where I get on Alex a little bit. He's got all his disciples out there at the Gravy Gang Hole, I'm sure. Ladle, ladle. Thank you. Uh, what's uh, How long does it take you to get your stuff done today? What's your What's your ETA? Of, yeah, what's your like whole wheels up? Yeah, we talked about this last week. What's your um, wheels up? I'm hoping I can get out by eleven. And nice. Then I gotta go home, take the dog out. Yeah, and then Same. I'll head that way. Yeah, home. Make sure Vu, boom, grab some, grab a few things that I need, and then Uber out there, and then boom, I'm ready to party on a golf course. Yeah, hopefully, I'll be there by like noon or a little after. Okay. All right. That's good stuff. Now let's talk about what really matters here. The wiener hole in your underwear. Yep. <laughs> Finally. Let's talk about what really matters. Finally. Um, some people are blown away. Much like I said that I've never had a margarita. You're just living a different life. I have never dragged my junk through that hole to go to the bathroom. What's funny to me <laughs> is when guys say, what do you do? Do you need me to explain it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> do you, I do. do you, I do. Do you feel that there's not one other option, like the wiener hole, or you just pissed yourself? Wiener That's hole it. or death. <laughs> That's it, yeah. That's what some people think. Listen to your boy. Listen to your Jerome over here. Uh, Rod, I seriously want to know this. If you don't use the wiener hole, what do you do? Yeah, what do you do? Undo your pants, pull them down around your ankles at the urinal. Urinal. <laughs> Alex taught me that. He said, grow up, Peter Pan. Seriously. Okay, everything that you said, yes, except for my pants around my ankles. But little boys do that. It's the <laughs> funniest thing. When you see, like, all these dudes going to the bathroom, you see, like, a little kid, his pants are around his ankles. <laughs> they just don't know to hold them up. Everybody else, you got to hold them up a little bit, you know? Uh, no, my <laughs> pants don't go around my ankles, Peter Pan. Yeah. Josh Tree, get out of here. Uh, Orlando, Brother Rod, you've never used the wiener hole? Never? So you always unbuckle your pants or shorts, pull your undies down and go. Seems like a waste of time. No, no, no. What I've, what you've just explained has got to be quicker. Monkeying around with that wiener hole. Come on. Come on. Come on. I guarantee I'm going before you. <laughs> I promise you I am. Alex, you came up with a scenario where you do use the wiener hole. Yeah. And it's, it's when you're like maybe wearing stuff. a dress shirt. If I'm wearing, yeah, if I'm wearing like a wedding or something, you got to yes. tuck a dress shirt in. Like I'm not good at that. You don't want to untuck. So I mm -hmm. get one good tuck mm -hmm. in like when I'm getting ready. Yeah. And then I got to just make sure that lasts the rest of the night. Yeah. Um, my favorite thing, like a wedding, is like when like your day, like it's like the reception part and like you can just untuck the shirt because yeah. then it's just. You can you can pee like a normal person again. Yeah, uh, but not when, using when I do. Wait, have, wait, 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 wait. When you said pee like a normal person, were not you not using the you were not using the wiener hole? Not using the wiener hole, right. like a normal person. Most like ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, I do not. But then when I have okay. that that tucked shirt in, I don't want to have to do that. That's more. That seems to me like more work than just maneuvering it through the yeah. the, the the wiener hole in my box. Yeah. What is what about the Guatemalan nightmare? Oof. Oof. I don't know. He um, he does the shorts method. You know, when you're doing the shorts and you can just kind of pull it through the shorts. Oh, he does that. The twin nose. Because <laughs> he's kind of wearing like sporty things. Right. He's wearing elastic. Right. So he just, um, this is how Chili goes. I would bet he has. We could just hair. ask him. But here's how Chili goes to pee. All right. He grabs the elastic on the shorts. I wear diapers. And, and, the, <laughs> <laughs> and the underwear at the same time. He's peeing and then, right now. And then prepare. He's going. He just goes, Brr! like both of them come down at the same time and then you go, right? Yeah. But when I'm, when I'm using pants, like blue jeans or something, I use the hole. You do use the wiener hole. Yeah. I undo the slipper and then it's right there. Anybody ever use the, everybody, anybody ever crank up the leg? On a pair of like uh, running shorts, I think that's what Chili does. Yeah, go, that's and, what I do. That's what he does. And you go I've walked in like while he's peeing, like that. you go out the leg hole. Yeah, <laughs> we used to do that in football. All the time. You'd crouch. I do that. You get on a knee and you could pee while you're like Look. listening to your coach. Ew, <laughs> a, you're gonna get it all over your leg. That was oh, a friend that I. Uh, there's <laughs> a friend. I don't know if he was doing it just to mess with people or not. Yeah, but. Uh, he would pull his pants down to his knee and go and pee at the urinal. Yeah, now that's that's and it was a, funny. That's it a was girl funny. up, Peter Pan. So uh, on the X, guys, do you use the wiener hole when going to the bathroom? 
I, have. I, th- I think we've explained there are other ways to do it. Um, never, 52% of our audience. Okay, I'm in there. I'm never. Uh, sometimes 21%. That would be Alex, and it sounds like Jilly once in a while. 26% of our audience always uses the wiener hole. I have another question. Um, <laughs> if we're talking Please. about How just, do you have all the just questions? using the hole. You've um, come to the right place. This is a you, safe space. If, if you're just an exclusive, I only use the wiener hole, do you unbutton your pants or do you just unzip the fly and there's no unbuttoning done at all? I always have to unbutton, even if it is just if I'm using the wiener hole on the boxers, I still unbutton the pants. It sounds like a treasure hunt now, right? I mean, that sounds that sounds impossible to be able to like you have to reach in through the zipper right there, you know, manu- <laughs> like right? The whole thing. Right, he's right. My he's unbutton right. the top button no matter what, right? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna say this. Please and tell then us. I'm gonna have to leave it here. Oh no. My method. There's no touching anything. That's the best. That's my, the best. My method. There's. When you gotta rip your rocket like through the you hole, just, you're you know hands you're, you're in the there. Yeah, you gotta take care of. I'm not touching anything. You're grabbing. I'm not touching anything. Mm. I still wash my hands though because I don't want people to think I'm a weirdo and <laughs> I'm gross. Of course, it, of course, I'm washing my hands afterwards. But there's been no junk in my hands right. at all. Right. Wiener hole weirdos. It wiener is, hole it is weirdos. Odd. <laughs> that could be a band name. Oh, Ooh. that's been suggested already. Uh, the wiener hole weirdos. Weir, the wiener hey hole. Hey guys, with the wiener hole weirdos. That is a good band. Up next. Hey, is that a shot? A and, wiener well, hole. Well, that's my next thing. Somebody had brought wiener hole up for the shot at Ditch Day. <laughs> I said we got to add it to the list. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on the list. Okay, um, this question, this burning question. Uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> uh, it's on the X at Rod Ryan Show. Uh Okay, I want to talk to you about my peeps. I've been working with Planet Fitness, okay, okay? And if you are sick of being upsold at gyms, at Planet Fitness, you'll get the energy without the upsell. Never pushy, always free fitness training and equipment for every workout, okay? They have a little ab room going on. They have a circuit. It's fitness that fits your budget, okay? You can join Planet Fitness like I did for just a dollar down and $10 a month. You're not going to find a better deal than that. You can cancel this at any time, okay? But this is a deal that ends Friday, April 12th. First quarter, that's already over. You trying to have a hot girl or guy summer? See your home Planet Fitness Club for details. Visit any of the 39 Houston area Planet Fitness locations for all the details.
Okay, high water, two right lanes. This has been going on all morning in Conroe, I-45, southbound at Texas Loop 336. Why? Well, those stalled, stalled vehicles got that way because of high water in the early morning hours. An accident's cleared in Lamarck, I-45 northbound at Holland. And then there's just traffic on Tomball Parkway between Cypress Creek and Antoine Drive. Remember, lots of traffic not, lights not working on Tomball Parkway, both north and southbound at Bamel, Fallbrook, Hollister, Chasewood Park. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. I don't know why I laugh every time. It sounds like Alex made his music, you know, or like it's you know it's, it's a VC show. It's Vince Carter's nephew. You know it is that made that for him. It's like, yeah, sure, I'll use that kid. Pastor Gravy's <laughs> interest way cooler. <laughs> All right, uh, let's find out what's trending this morning. Well, uh, what you got? I'm uh, putting my foot down. Oh. Um, Looking at Girls blog page. According to young people, if you wear eyeshadow, that's oh, the tell. Old. That's a telltale sign that you are just old. <laughs> you're beat. Uh, Gen Z thinks eyeshadow is a Gen X and a millennial thing. Yeah, it is. And uh, you know what? I'm. You're not going to take away my smoky eye. You're not going to take away the levels of contouring and that's blending that I'm doing. But that's all I see on the internet. Well. Eyeshadow yeah. is means you're old. Yeah. Well, here I am. You know what? Normally, I listen to these little pip squeaks, and I'm like, you know what? Good point. I'll put my hair part down the middle. I'll get away with the side part. I'll get some baggy jeans. You're not taking away my eyeshadow, dog. Like, get a little life. Get a little life. You know what? It's because you can't afford eyeshadow. Okay, let's go. <laughs> um, you just what called else? Gen Z dog? They're poor dog. Okay, uh, this is also... Um, Wildcard Wednesday is our number one performing blog page. There Paco, Paco from Houston is who we have to thank for this Wildcard Wednesday submission. Thank you so much, Paco. Thank you so much, Paco. Um, and then if you go over to Google Trending, you will see that the uh, women's basketball, the Nielsen ratings are in the NCAA women's basketball. Did in fact the final the final game out um performed the men's and you know that's that's a huge thing drawing a record number of tv viewership it's a big day big day for for herstory alex uh, that's what's trending on 94.5 the buzz liz says thank god for earbuds why <laughs> why do you think this silly show that's why she said thank god for earbuds good morning everyone in caps l m a o I just started this new job. I'm listening to you guys with my earbuds. I'm trying not to laugh my ass off. Holy S, this is so great. You all, y'all are so freaking funny. Have the best day. Listener since day one, Liz. Thank you. Is she uh, because yeah, of the wiener hole? The wiener hole. But it's been added to the ditch day shot suggestions okay. list. I'm going to uh, put that on the stories. Yeah. Um, you just like a batch of wiener hole shots <laughs> that they're going to have to make over there. Where are we doing this thing? I'm a little uncomfortable. We don't have a date or a location yet. <laughs> but, but we have a wiener hole. First Got things it. first. I mean, it's always the most important thing is coming up with what shot we're shot going to be name. doing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's give away some tickets here. Okay. I have a pair of tickets to see Glass Animals, the Tour of Earth show at Woodlands Pavilion, September 21st. Tickets go on sale tomorrow. So they're going on sale Thursday at Ticketmaster.com tomorrow at 10 a.m. Was last year the escalator because of my knee injury? Was that two years was ago? It, I think it was two years two. ago. What Yesterday was, was the Chile Brown. It was the Chile Brown shot. Oh, that's right. Yep. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I had 30,000 of those. Oh, that Chili it Brown shot. It had tequila shot. and like pineapple in it. It was actually really good. I was passed it out hot? of your couch that day. They had tahini. There was tahini and there was, yeah, there was like a jalapeno yes. muddle in there or something. Good Lord. I passed out at your couch that night. Yeah, you did. I don't <laughs> even remember how I got there. I was just like, oh, I'm on Rod's oh, couch. Alex is here. Huh. It? Time to Uber Yo. home. All right, let's go. Glass animals tickets. Call her 10. <laughs>
94.5 The Buzz. 21 Pilots and Overcompensate. Rod Ryan Show. Uh, did that show sell out when it went on sale Friday? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, I'm wondering. I know a lot of people, they reacted and they said tickets were going fast on Friday, but I never got an official word. I guess I could just go in there and try and buy tickets at some point today just to see. Uh, I'm just curious. If that was another show that was going to sell out soon, I think it was going to be that one. Uh, let me know if you had uh, success or you didn't have success getting those tickets. Thunderstorms behind us. Maybe a little bit of rain here and there, uh, but mostly cloudy skies moving forward. There's still some standing water. There's still a handful of you with no power. A uh, high today of about 75. There's Billy. Billy wants to talk about his wiener hole. Hi, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? I mean, if you're a guy calling this show today, you know you're going to be forced. You're talking weens today. You know you're going to be forced to talk about your panty situation. Use the we- Do you use the wiener hole? WHs. Home? Billy. Oh, yeah, definitely. You use the wiener hole? Definitely? You yeah, use the can wiener you hear hole? me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, you use the wiener hole every time? Uh, 50-50. 50-50. Okay. It's a 50-50 guy. So he goes into the sometimes category. Do you like no, or is it just like whatever you're feeling? You're feeling like, like- a wiener hole day? <laughs> and you wake up? Yeah, just... Just whatever you're feeling, man. It's gonna be There's a good probably better hole holes on, like, depending on the underwear. If they have buttons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're Am right. I in a hurry or not, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm always in a hurry. In that every- rod is a speed peer, well, walker, He's actually everything. Russian. But in everything that I do, <laughs> trying to get my kid out the door, she's like, Dad, why are we in a rush all the time? <laughs> like, because that's dude, my life, okay? Dude. Let's get there. Let's just get to where we're going. I love her for asking you that. She God, did. I couldn't love her anymore. She's now starting to bring that up. Like, are we going to be late? I mean, why are we rushing? Why, yeah, like, why are we hustling? Because I want to. This is hustle town, kid. I need, get in the car. I need motion. I need movement. We got to go. We got to go. Hey, Billy, you're caller 10. Congratulations. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. What are you giving them? Dude, I'm going to give you the pair of tickets to see Glass Animals at Woodlands Pavilion. Tickets aren't even on sale for this yet, but you got them because you answered that dumb wiener hole question and you were caller 10. <laughs> awesome. It, it had nothing to do with your wiener hole. All right. You just you won the tickets. You were caller 10. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, dude. I appreciate good, it. Have a good day. I'm sorry about the subject <laughs> matter you? today. No. He's sorry. It will happen again. I'm not. I'm not because <laughs> we got a band name out of it and possibly a shot. So I'm not mad. Right. It's like a, almost a trifecta. It is a trifecta. Great topic. It's a quadfecta. Great topic to talk about. Killer poll question. Possible shot suggestion. Immediately on the band name list. Wiener hole weirdos. Okay, I'll add it. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I like this guy. I like the. I like what he did. Normally, I would read a story like this, and I would say, okay. Uh, I like it. This guy works at a museum in Germany. Uh-huh. Uh, they had, he got fired. Okay. Um, they had a modern art section in the uh, in the gallery, and uh, dude hung up one of his own paintings. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't I don't hate that either. He's he's 51 years old. He's uh, described as a former technician at the museum. I don't know what that means. Uh, he was hoping that it might help him break through as an artist. I mean, you, 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 we've all seen art before, and I don't know one person that hasn't looked at something on the wall and said, oh, I could have done that. So he did that. He did that, and then he hung his up there. The problem was his stuff was hanging next to Andy Warhol's. <laughs> it's, it's a really nice exactly. museum. Hey, you know what? You got you, you to gotta be a little DeLulu. Warhol, wanna... Schmorhol. Yeah, That's get in there. Said. I'm an artist, too. It's all, it's all subjective. It happened in February. He went in after hours. He hung a four-foot painting on an empty wall right next to a war hall. I love that. <laughs> okay. And then that's about it. Um, they haven't said, now this is the gallery releasing this information. They haven't said whether or not his painting was any good. Because why? They don't want to encourage other people to do this. Right, right, so right, they got to right, just, right, right. you know, it might have been awesome. Did he get some exposure? Well, they noticed it in the middle of the day. So at least yes. when you're talking about it, everybody that was there all morning long. So they decided to wait until they 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 figured it out in the middle of the day. And I could just see the earpieces. What the hell is that thing on the wall over there? Don't make it weird. Don't talk about it. 
They didn't want to rip it down in the middle of the day, so they left it up there all. The guy got one full day up there next to an Andy Warhol, whatever his, whatever his painting was. <laughs> so a full eight hours. They oh no here they go. They say that the painting got no positive feedback from the visitors. I don't believe mm. it. I don't believe it. He did have to drill two small holes in the wall to hang it. So on top of lo- losing his job, he could be facing charges for property damage. Just go put some toothpaste in the holes. It'll be fine. I like it. Some guy walked into a gallery and duct taped a banana to the wall, and they were trying to sell that. Yeah, I and people that. were like taking so many pictures, like, oh, my God, this is so magical. It's moving me. He held a banana on the wall mm-hmm. and put a piece of duct tape over it. Mm-hmm. That was his installment. I thought it was beautiful. <sighs> Made him cry. You don't get art, Rod. You just don't get it. I, you're right. I that you just I don't. don't. Get it. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. It's Lincoln Park. This is uh, your Rod Ryan Show on a Wild Card Wednesday. That is our number one link today. Um, third row tickets for a perfect circle. Uh, Teresa is also doing this uh, in the in the afternoon. I want to say at five o'clock she's going to do the uh, karaoke again. She's going to be asking you guys to do some singing. But we're both counting down five, four, three, two, one. So we both have third row tickets. Um, I'll just have you call in closer to around 910. I got a couple people upset that the uh, the world seems to be going after Lunchables. There's a story on the food blog yeah. page today. I didn't know Lunchables were that. I feel like Alex, it's a big deal, of like a big part of his growing up. Lunchables. Lunchables were dope, dude. It's a good source of lead. Not work. I mean, I think protein. still good. <laughs> There's lead in there. 
high amounts of lead. Well, lead. Not I, thought it was sodi- I thought it was sodium that was the ish, but it's lead too? Yeah, there's a bunch of... They, uh, there's a bunch of issues apparently they with te- Lunchables. They tested a bunch of Lunchables. They found a ton of chemicals, relatively high amounts of lead, just not enough to exceed what's allowed, but it's not great, okay? Like deli meat in general. This is why I'm going back to anyway. homesteading. Yeah. I mean, anybody that's walking around thinking Lunchables are healthy, come on. They're not. No. No, they're not. And you know what else isn't healthy that is so good, that is like so fancy? What? Those charcuterie boards. Those aren't the healthiest thing you can put in your mouth, guys. Processed meat. Yeah. Thing. That's all you got to say. Processed it's just meat. Like, it's like a higher level. It's like classy Lunchable. It's country club Lunchable. That's um, right. Stephen. Private school Lunchable. Yes. Stephen Brozovich. <laughs> uh, Brother Rod, I went specifically this morning. I dug through my underwear drawer. I have zero underwear with a wiener hole. I really don't know how to use one. What you're talking about? Rod will teach you. What, <laughs> are you are you French? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> mine don't have one. What are mine they like? Tommy, right what brand are yours right now? Um, no free ads, but me undies. Me undies. Me what, undies. Is it a Sorry, boxer brief? Yeah. yeah. And there's just nothing. Yeah, it's just nothing. Holeless. I have polo by Ralph Lauren oh, on today. Me. Classy. And there's a rich boy. And there's a wiener hole. Okay. Um, Millionaire. Yeah, country club. Rod. These are Millionaire. a little expensive. Yeah. Yeah, we know. Are These the are Calvin a- Klein ones still expensive? Probably. I Name brand? wear one brand and one brand only. Oh. I found it. Exclusive. Listen. Exclusive. I mean, you just I wear all kinds of- I you were an equestrian. <laughs> you just I mean, head here to the, to the polo club. Listen, if I'm not here- I'm on the pitch. Yeah. Okay, I'm the polo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm not here, I'm swinging a mallet. I'm pulling. Okay. <laughs> you can't keep me off those horses. Okay. Love it. I mean, don't you have... Love that. Are all... Okay, this is the real question. Are all of your panties purchased singular? You ever buy like a... Do no, they I have go, three I like, packs? I, go like five, I do like a five for... I think it's 35 now. I go seamless at Victoria's Secret. And then also now that I'm a grown... Um, uh, oh, you're an old lady Sonoma. wearing eyeshadow? So, yeah, but me and my eyeshadow, <laughs> we go to like a Sonoma, uh-huh. and they have like a nice seamless panty thong that I like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. really nice. It's a, a multi-pack? Uh, no, you have to, per- they do like, they'll do like a three for 32 or or something like that. But they don't come packaged up together. Nah, they're no, oh, okay. no package. All right. Well, yeah, but you like what you like. When you get something that you like and it fits well, it's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm sticking with these. Yeah. I mean, this pair that I have on? There's probably a hole in it on the side. Something. It's just throw it out. Come on. I've Grow had this. Up. I had this pair of panties longer than I was married. Okay, dude. <laughs> Toss them. This is this panty. This underwear has not let me down ever. Okay. <laughs> me and you, bro. Me and you. You've always been there for me. His undies. His Supp- undies. Always supporting. Hey, what's up? It's your brother Rod talking about Centergenics. Guys, this is specifically for you. This is me talking to you now. I know we're busy. I know we're always putting people in front of us. Take care of yourself. You have lack of energy. Is that you? Is your motivation down? Is the libido not where you want it to be? These are all symptoms that could be caused by low T levels. Just go and get your levels tested. That's all you got to do. Go in there and get your numbers tested and then figure out, okay, do I want to go through with a testosterone testosterone treatment? Because they're great at it, okay? You will get your levels checked at Centergenics. You're going to get your results back at your first visit. No pressure. It's like, here's your numbers. Here's where they should be. Here's where they used to be. Here's where you are now. You're going to say, oh, my God, sign me up. Endmylot.com is the website. Book an appointment now, endmylot.com.
Disabled vehicles blocking a right lane on the West Loop northbound at Westheimer. So some traffic from Evergreen. There's still traffic lights not working on Tomball Parkway and Highway 249 north and southbound at Bamel Fallbrook, Hollister and Chase Wood Park. Over And speaking of uh, Tomball Parkway, between Cypress Creek and Antoine, there is traffic. Uh, this is just a delay of about a half hour. Pack a little patience there on the northwest side. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. Uh, we t- are sitting on third row tickets for the APC show this Saturday night. Um, Pussifer and if you want to sail the seas of cheese with Primus, they're all going to be on stage at the same time. Uh, I've got those tickets coming your way at around nine ten. Uh, listener, Jeremy. Anyone keeping a count on how many times the word wiener has been said on the air today? Wiener, 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 wiener. I, I don't have an exact number, but adding that, I think we're about two away. I, I'm quite sure that Radio Wizard has the email in his drafts. 
Mm-hmm. And we're about two away from him hitting send. I'm not going to okay. read it. <laughs> there is a Game of Thrones story, all I'm saying in this oh, one. I'm just really? letting you know. I'm just letting you know. I don't want to force anything, but when it works, it works. Uh, Can we cool it on the wiener talk? Uh, thunderstorms behind us, but let's let Tessa talk about that in Houston's headlines. Well, here's the good news. A severe thunderstorm watch for Southeast Texas is no longer in effect, but a lot of people did wake up to what these storms left behind overnight. You know, you had some businesses destroyed out in Katy. You had trees down, things like that. Center Point, as of 7.25 a.m., um, were still reporting outages for more than 89,000 Houston area customers. That number was well over 100K earlier this morning, so we're still, like, tracking the outages and things like that. There are high water spots reporting. Um, you know, this is something that is pushing over to Louisiana, so it's not something we have to worry too much about, really. The severe weather is over with. That's yeah. good. I kind of like that it came in the middle of the night and not while people are out on the roads right now, right? So, um, yeah, that's your really your weather update, and we're still going to be at the golf course this afternoon, so yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Grab some galoshes. I Grab some shoes that you don't mind getting a little wet. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's talk about the biggest POS uh, that I have read about in a while. There's a Houston woman in custody. She's accused of stealing another woman's purse at a cemetery along with other thefts. That's right. Harris County Deputy Constables arrested Latoya White uh, yesterday, excuse me, earlier this week on Monday. She reportedly stole a woman's purse from her car at the Forest Park Lawndale Cemetery while the victim was cleaning her daughter's grave. Security video reportedly caught White using the victim's credit card at a nearby Walgreens shortly after. She's charged with motor vehicle burglary and credit card abuse. Investigators say she is charged with three similar crimes and is a suspect in eight more cases. Anyone that can take advantage of really anyone, but specifically someone who is mourning someone they've lost close to them. Ooh, what do you say? Hottest so, seat in hell. Yeah, that's what they're saving for that person for sure. Okay, uh, here's a question for or a good hypothetical. If our wiener poll wasn't so important, maybe we do this on as a poll question. What, what do you prefer? You like an ideal vacation that includes a short flight to get to your destination? Or do you prefer somewhat of a long drive? A poll found 73% of Americans prefer to road trip it when possible. The average person has been on 16 road trips in their life. Uh, the five best parts, according to the poll, seeing new landscapes and scenery. And then number two, listening to music on on the uh, radio. Come on, man. You take us with you on the iHeart app. I'm not even charging. Yeah, a lot of people like getting a break from their routine. A lot of people really just like driving. 25% of people just really like drying, driving. And then um, the fifth reason is a tie between trying a local food along the way and then, of course, just getting to your destination. Getting there is always fun. According to this poll, that's what they're saying. Just the just the way you really only truly see a neighborhood if you walk it, I really believe you really only can experience a place if you drive there. But I still prefer a short flight. Like, I want to get to the main part. And you're not driving anyways, passenger princess. Yeah. You're not driving anywhere. Not lately. No. Not lately. Not I have been you're in the back seat. catching up on my reading. <laughs> Mrs. Daisy. And when yeah, you taking, do drive, a, taking you a little car nap. Running when that's, you gas. that's right. That's right. Psycho. You guys know me. You know and love me. Kit Harrington's return as Jon Snow on a Game of Thrones spinoff is no longer happening, at least for now. Wow, just going to forget about the winter music. Okay. Uh, currently, <laughs> it's off the table, according to Kit, because they, he says they couldn't find the right story to tell what they were all going to be really excited enough about. So they decided to lay down tools with it for the time being. He says there may be a time in the future where they return to it, but at the moment, it is firmly on the shelf. He didn't want people. Okay, let's move on to Twisted Sister. Uh, They have been dormant for eight years, and they've never intended to get back together, but they might not be able to resist that for much longer. Dee Snyder says, look, you know, a lot of bands are retiring. They're even dying. So the offers for them to go out on tour, they get bigger and bigger. At some point, he says, you got to say, how can I say no to that? Dee says he and the other band members are having some very general discussion just in case these offers reach a point they can't refuse. Those are Houston's headlines. And I think he's kind of well off. I think Dee Snyder's pretty well. I don't know the rest of the guys in the band. Yeah. But whoever wrote, we're not going to take it, that alone can set you up comfortably for life. It's been used in so many advertisements. You can't play that if they do take the money and then play again. You can't play, we're not going to take it. <laughs> you, you can't you do can it. if you don't, but you can't if you do. If you do a Twisted Sister show, you cannot do a show without, we're not going to take Unless it. Unless you take the money. Because then you took it. Oh, we're not going to take it. You're being literal. Yeah. Alex. Just saying, that's something to think about. He got me. Hmm. He got me. I wasn't I wasn't catching on to that. 
I got it now. Thanks. Clever. You know, other other world. Other so world clever. Thinking. What do you got in sports? Um, Astros. Yeah. Fell to the Royals 4-3 in Bell. extras last night. They'll mm. play the Royals again tonight. Spencer Argetti is going to be on the mound for the Strohs. He'll be going oh. up against Kansas City's Seth Lugo. That's Spencer Argetti. He's their top prospect making his major league debut. So start, you know, get to know that name. He's Italian. Start doing the Italian hands. It's a lot of fun. Are you Arigetti. sure? Look how it's spelled. It's spelled like spaghetti. <laughs> okay, but you didn't, like, confirm. You just went with Italian because oh, it sounds like spaghetti. There's no way he's not Italian. You're just going full pasta. Just oh, pasta Print the there. shirts. Print the shirts. Do the Italian hands, the Astros colors. Like, everybody's going to buy them. First pitch is at 640. <laughs> you can listen to the game on our sister station, Sports Talk 790. Actual verbal trademark. I call that dibs on that. Um, in you. the NBA, Rockets got a win last night. They beat the Magic 118 to 106. Fred Van Vliet had 37 points of the night to lead the team in scoring. They're going to have a day off today before they play the Jazz on the road tomorrow night. That is what's going on in sports. Hey! What's up? It's your brother Rod talking about that revolutionary weight loss medication called Revelex. Only available from our friends at Red Mountain Weight Loss. All the celebrity buzz is about semaglutide that is FDA approved for weight loss. Semaglutide is the main ingredient in Revelex. And maybe the best part, Revelex is half the price of the other semaglutide meds. If you want to lose weight like all these celebrities right now, why don't pay as much as them. Go with the Revelex that's available from Red Mountain Weight Loss, plus no shots, okay? So that means you're not using, you know, an allotment that people need for other things. You're using this specific medication called Revelex from Red Mountain Weight Loss. Comes in a full-strength daily tablet. There's no needles, just results, like losing up to 15 pounds per month. You get an effective weight management dose right away. This means you can lose up to 15 pounds in your first month. Includes one-on-one -on -one support from medical experts. You're going to meet with the clinical team monthly to review your progress. You can only get it at Red Mountain Weight Loss. You have to dial pound 250. Use keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Okay, there is still high water that caused these stalled vehicles on I-45 southbound in Conroe at the Loop 336, Texas Loop 336. Um, there's a disabled vehicle blocking a right lane on 610 West Loop northbound at Westheimer. A ton of traffic lights still not working at the Tomball Parkway north and southbound. So treat it, treat it like a four-way stop if you're at Bamel, if you're at Fallbrook, if you're at Hollister, if you're at Chasewood Park. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. That's stained. Welcome to the 9 o'clock hour, everybody. It's uh, 9.06 on this Wild Card Wednesday. All the nastiness and the rain and all that stuff behind us. May even get a little bit of sun out there, but mostly cloudy today. Highs of around 75. I hope everything's going well out there at Wildcat, uh, the golf course. Rosie is in. Uh, oh, nice. So Rosie is going to be there. They are playing, and we were worried about the rain, so we were already talking about maybe putting them underneath the pavilion or whatever. And uh, th they're playing, so they're gonna they're gonna jam beforehand. So if you are coming out to the golf tournament, man, get there early, uh, get there early, and grab a couple of belts, and you know, practice your swing. I, I, it's weird seeing guys out there like practicing their yeah. putts. Unless you're just bored, you're doing that. But I think there's a couple of guys that play in this thing. Uh, <laughs> Rob Logan, who works for us. He's, at, he's like working on his putts working. for this for this tournament. <laughs> like, <laughs> Some people, you know, they're golfers and they're they're gonna give it their best shot. I don't want to see anybody that works here or is related to somebody that works here. I don't want to see one of you picking up a trophy today. Fair. I'm, I'm just saying it's impossible. Just point them out. And That's I'll, I'm just it's Rob Logan. I'll take care of it. It's one guy. Don't give it to him if he wins it. It's That's, one guy. No, not you. You cannot get a trophy. Yeah. What? If you see Rob Logan out there, take his ball and throw it the opposite way. I'll and point him that out. Counts as a full stroke. I'll point him out to everyone. Make of sure you. he doesn't win. Um, where was uh, okay? First of all, board games huge in my upbringing. Indoor activities. It's cold outside up north, and they were cheap. I think board games used to cost five, six bucks. Oh. We we had them all. Wow. Sorry. Sorry. Risk. Trouble. Payday. Trouble. Yeah. We had everything. We had them all. We weren't a big, you know, Monopoly the goat. Yeah. We were not a big Scrabble family. I like Scrabble. My Did, aunts always played Scrabble. You would Scrabble? And they'd go, challenge, challenge. That's out of the dictionary. Yeah. And then you'd have to go look it up. And then, yeah. And then you'd lose a turn. Why I didn't, would say I don't have a dictionary. Why didn't you just go to the internet and look to see if that was a word? That was a million years ago. Because there was no internet, kids. Right. Um... You were saying that Gen Z was picking on older women. They always And they said do. the telltale sign was eyeshadow. Yeah. They always do that. Like, they're not aging at a rapid pace. Well, the telltale sign of Gen Z may be your just absolute lack of competitiveness. There you go. It may be. A hundred percent. They're making, it's not called Scrabble Light, but that's what I'm going to call it. It's too hard. Scrabble yeah, is yeah, most Scrabble. things are. It's, everything is going in the office is too hard. Showing up when you're expected to is too hard. Talking to people is too hard. The makers of Scrabble say that younger folks find the game to be too intense. Play Candyland. Stop me when I'm wrong. I know, right? You're like, soft. I mean, were you were you're you a little bitch? Were you, you traumatized <laughs> when you got stuck in the licorice lagoon <laughs> at, yeah. on Candyland? Yeah. Like they're gonna remove that. Lord, licorice was scaring me. <laughs> you know, there's a winner and there's a loser in these games. That concept too harsh. Well, too good. harsh for you them. Hang on. losers. Now listen, it's collaborative. No. It's more accessible. No. It's called Scrabble Together. Let's work as a team. <laughs> Just stop. You team up to complete mutual goals. You get my point for my big word that I came up with? Yeah, right. You can flip helper cards. Oh, God. Yep. Just no, no. An executive no. at the company says the new game brings people together. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, I want to be suck. torn apart. I want to know that I'm smarter. The research shows competitiveness is declining in younger generations. These are not my words. Mm -hmm. They say younger, fo younger folks avoid competitive games in favor of teamwork and collaboration. Scrabble together does come with the original version of the other side on the other side of the board when everybody like is bored out of their balls playing the easy one. Um, right now, this thing is in Europe. And they say it's being put out by Mattel. Oh, they own the rights overseas. So Scrabble is controlled by Hasbro. They say it's coming here. No, thanks. It, it's coming here. No, thank you. You can just keep it along with your L and the W and the and the WW1 and 2. With the F and the U and a couple of I, I'm going through this right now. And you know what? The, the, there is a little component to this in Candyland. But there's nothing more heartbreaking than getting to the top of Shoots and Ladders and my kid hits that 
slide and has to go all the way down to the bottom of the board. But that's teaching her. I, I agree. I agree. And I remember being upset about that. So I, I, she gets it from me. And that's something that we're working through. She's like, I don't want to play. I'm not going to win now. I go, you're going to play because you're going to probably hit the ladder yeah. soon. And then, boom, you're going to jump back up there. And I, I, You can't quit. I will not allow a game to stop. And once we start, the only rule I have is once a Candyland, those are real big right now, Candyland and Shoots and Ladders. Uh, once a game starts, you can't quit. Yeah, I like there that. There is no quitting on Solid. the game. She's the one that's bugging me to play. Yeah. And I said, you know okay. the rule. Boom. I don't care if you ride that all the way down. You're riding the lightning all the way down to the to the bottom. Yeah. You're you have to play. And she's kind of mad, but she gets she understands that we cannot quit. Yeah, and it's one of these things where bad things happen to good people all the time. You don't quit, just like the game of life, right? You get you get dealt a bad hand. Some years are down, some years are up. You cannot stop. Right. And, then, and that's the life lesson. And she's riding that slide. I'm like, oh man, okay, well, next time. You think when I'm riding that slide, she's being she's comforting? Like, <laughs> Ha <laughs> daddy! <laughs> I'm so gonna win this game, <laughs> dude. It really, it really, really, really has to be like that. All right. Um, I, I guess we need a less intimidating version of Scrabble. No, we I, don't. I, no, no, we don't. The the uh, final four, the women's final four. Why did so many people tune in? Because it's competitive. These chicks are knocking each other Caitlin around. Clark. It's versus. It's not only that. Because not of only Caitlin Clark. Well, not it's not just her, Alex. It's all the competitive women and Clark. that. Well, yeah, she helps. She helps the game. But you're watching it. Why? And why do you like her? Because she's a killer. Because she's competitive. No one's gonna watch her if she just told me to. hands it off. Maybe Who's young they? people. Maybe young people are watching that in fear, going, "God, like, why is oh she? Oh God, she's gonna score she's on playing, me. <laughs> she's playing so angry in the paint. I can't Love ever it. play basketball again. Love it. All right, let's give away some tickets. I didn't mean to upset anybody. It's just what's happening. Well, Too it's okay. Late. But, see, but see, it's okay that we're upset. We're not going to quit the show. We're not going to walk out right. and say, I'm not going to tell you what you get third row tickets <laughs> to A Perfect Circle and Pussifer and Primus. Uh, third row, we're playing 54321. So this is row three at A Perfect Circle concert. 713-212-5945. Okay, let's talk about your glasses and your contacts. Aren't you fed up with that? Aren't you fed up with like touching your eyes every morning or or uh, losing your glasses or just having to clean your glasses? But maybe you're unsure about LASIK. You know, there are some myths out there when it comes to LASIK. Maybe you want it, but you have astigmatism. That's not a problem at Manai Institute. In most cases, modern LASIK from Manai can actually correct astigmatism. And seeing, baby, that is believing. With Manai Institute's April LASIK promotion, you can see through myths and embrace clear vision with this very special LASIK offer. Options to fit any budget, affordable financing. Call 800 My Vision or visit maneye.com today. That'll schedule your 100% free LASIK screening.
They're stopping good traffic on Tomball Parkway, southbound between Greens and Antoine Drive. It's about a 30-minute delay. An accident's just cleared on the south loop, eastbound at Stella Link Road, and traffic lights still not working. Uh, Greens Road, both, e- both east and westbound at JFK Boulevard, and then all along Tomball Parkway, north and southbound. That's your rec check on 94.5 The Buzz. Ninety-four five, the buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan show. Uh, hearing from a few people out in uh, Chili's neck of the woods, out there on the mean streets of Katy. Good morning, Rod. I just tried driving north on Mason. I usually do this every morning uh, to the park and ride. It's blocked right before Kingsland. Fire trucks and emergency vehicles are still out there from that tornado. Yeah. Was it the? You were talking about that bar, the Bourbon Street Bar. Bourbon Street Sports is, Bar, yeah. Is that what went got a that's direct what, hit? I, at least that's what they... I don't know if it got directly hit. We just saw them talking to the owners of it today. Okay. It looked like it hit around where they were, and they were damaged by it. So, uh, I, I guess it's AMI. AMI. Uh, I had to drive through the neighborhood to try to get to Fry and make my way to I-10. Lots of cars out there doing the same thing. It took forever. Lots of street lights are out. There are many, many, many people in their yards. There's trees uprooted, branches, debris. Out in Katy. Dang. This morning. So it's that South Mason uh, in that area, South Mason and Kingsland. So be careful if you're driving in that area. Um, we got row three tickets. Good morning. Rod Ryan show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who's this? Uh, yeah, I'm calling for APC tickets. APC, a perfect circle. They're playing on Saturday night. You probably have some plans, though, huh? I mean, come on. It's already uh, Wednesday. No. You must be busy. There's no, no Michelle, there's no way that your Saturday night is open this late in the week. It is wide open. <laughs> all right, you wide got open. all right, you got those third row tickets. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. Oh my god, this is gonna be my second time watching them. Oh, you've seen a perfect circle before. I have. I've seen all of them. I've seen all three bands. Yeah? Yeah, all of them. Tool, Perfect Circle, and Piece of Fur. Where did you see a perfect circle before? Because I've seen them. I don't remember where. No. Um, they played Buzzfest one year, and then they played another one at Sh- the new Sugarland uh, oh, Smart Financial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, listen, you're gonna. I don't know if you've ever been this close for one of those shows, but you're in the third. No. You're in the third row. There's only two people in front of you. All right. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Man, that's so great. Michelle, where are you from? I'm from Rosenberg, Texas. Man, you're awesome. Congratulations. You're awesome. Thank you, thank you. Thanks so much for listening. Hang on for me, okay? We'll set you up. I feel like we really got somebody that really deserves those tickets. Um, Teresa has 54321 this week, so she's on day three as well in the 5 o'clock hour. Tomorrow, second row, first row on Friday. What you doing? All right, uh, maybe you didn't get to to go to the golf tournament today, so I oh, no. uh, I Tragedy. gave you a, a little mini putt golf thing for you to do today. So you can kind of pretend you're golfing with us, even though you'll be golfing from your desk I like or it. your home, and it is exactly what you think it sounds like. It's mini golf online. Keep your feet dry. Keep your feet dry with this one. But there is like you can make it wet. You can keep your feet wet too if you wanted to like, go get like a foot bath or like if you have a bowl at home. Put your foot in it, you'll feel like you're right out there. But with you're us. gonna miss out on all the crab legs and the crawfish. From yeah, Willies. you have to DoorDash mm. that or make your own. But spaghetti western meatballs, My, minus mm. all the other fun stuff, you can still participate <laughs> in the golf part of it too. And then this also helps you get ready for Masters, which starts tomorrow too. So go play some mini golf at the world famous Rod Ryan Show page at thebuzz.com.
All right. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning, Rod Ryan. Show. Papa Roach. And no apologies. I haven't seen anything come across my desk if uh, P. Roach is going to be out this summer. You know what I did see? They don't have a Houston date. They just played here, so it makes sense. Um, There's a story on the music blog page. Blue October is going out with Switchfoot. Mm. That's a good combo. Yeah. I'm going to have to ask Alex, the third guy, because I'd never heard of him before. I told you this morning that the tour information for uh, Blue October, Switchfoot, and then the guy. Do you remember the guy? Oh, I thought you said Matt Mason, but you said Matt Nathanson. Matt Nathanson? Is that what I said? Was it Matt Nathanson? I just wasn't familiar with the third person on that tour. Matt Mason is awesome. I Someone's got to open. I know a lot about Matt Nathanson. Oh, he's Come On, Get Higher. I've heard that song. Okay. You um, wouldn't like it. Maybe a road trip? Switchfoot's great live. I mean, I wish it was coming through here. I know Blue October just played here, but really? You can play again. You got the green light from us, at least. Thunderstorms behind us. Still mostly cloudy today. Going to be a little, little bit of sunshine out there today. Highs of around 75. So I'll respect the exercise. I'll get it out of the way in the beginning of the discussion. Is These could go both ways. But it just happened to be the girls of Reddit. They were talking about, because we all know the media, like social media, it's driven by negativity, Right. And somebody said, well, let's talk about some of the good things. And guys, listen up. Take notes, gentlemen. (laughs) Okay? The girls of Reddit, their little subreddit group, they were encouraging the ladies to, let's not focus on the negative things. You know, Tessa could talk from now until the end of the show about red flags on dudes. We're going to do Jeremy's show. What about green flags? The green flags are the good things. Green flags are great. Can we be positive a little bit today? Please. We got a golf tournament to go to yeah, for charity. Yeah, let's get some good energy in here. Is there is there a green flag? It's right, right off the top of the list. Boom. This would be huge green flag for you. I mean, well, it's a um, great thing. A trait that the dude has. Uh, loves his mom. Really cares about his mom. Yeah? I think that's probably the biggest one. Is there a difference between loving your mama and being a mama's and boy? And being a mama's boy. 100%. I mean, is it close or are they two really different things from one another? I think they're real. I think, I think they're, I don't think it's a hard line to draw. Like, I think Mm -hmm. like, you know, when someone is just, they can't do anything without, I don't know, like their mom's approval. Yeah. You know? Okay. Um, but I think you, I think loving your mom and respecting, you know, I think, I think it's like respect for women really stems from having a respect for mom. Right. Yeah. I agree. I, I agree. And I'm just still, at my age, afraid of my mom. So That's good. It's a nice, up. healthy fear. Yeah. You know, I, I green flag. I'm afraid of my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid of everyone, just my mom. Right. Okay, I'm laying it out for you, fellas. Here we go. This is what they were saying. These are the, the green flags that they're looking for in guys. He's got my back. He's reliable. Consistency and reliability are huge. 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 I agree. I agree. You got to you got to have a little bit of um depend like you know you can depend on them kind of thing. Green flag for girls too. <laughs> Every one of these is going to apply. Um they keep their living space nice, which means all the future housework won't be just on me. Cleanliness. The, the, the guy can keep his place. I mean, is that important if you you go and Go into a guy's place and it's trashed. I am messy, which I know is like <laughs> you're a red the messy flag. one. I am. I'm very messy, but I'm also very busy. So there can't be like two messy people. Is my whole thing. You know what I mean? Like there can't be two of us. Only one of us is going to be cleaning. No, I will. I will always. I mean, I'll, <laughs> Alex, well, that's the thing. I'm going to clean my mess. But like, okay. are we going to spend time? To, like, do you want me to? Do you want me to go out on a date with you, or do you want me to clean my apartment? Because I can't do both. Like, I, I, you have to help me. You could probably do you can't both. do no, both. No, there's you, no way. I no, no, no. There's, there's no way. All right, green flags. Fellas, are you writing these down? No. (laughs) You're dead. (laughs) Who cares with you anymore, anymore. dad? Uh, Courtesy to wait staff, animals, and old people. Always. One, two, three. Yeah, that's just like a human thing. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag, guys. What's a green flag? These are the traits they're looking for. Uh, Positive relationship with parents. Yeah. So you were mom-specific, parents, whatever, family. Yeah. Um. God, these apply to everybody. Following through with plans and, this is the words, not being flaky. Yeah, that's a big one. Flaky. Right. 
flaky is no good. Nobody. Flaky's no bueno. I don't want. I don't want to hear. Well, one of us can be flaky and the other one not flaky. No, for sure. No flaky. <laughs> for sure. There's. For, I, I got no time for flaky. For sure. You can't. You you have to. But I like. Can I Here say? Here we go. You can, can say anything you want. Can I say that like? I'm busy. Uh, like, I could be flaky. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> I feel like there's this like there's this alternate thinking of like you want a man to lead. You want a man to be able to make a plan and a decision and follow through because mm-hmm. when if we come together as a union, like I'm gonna look to you as a point person sometimes, and I'm like tired of being boss bay in the streets all day. Like I want you to kind of take the lead and make the plans. Like I think that's a huge green flag that you can do that. Who's running? I'll show up. I'll show up. I won't flake, but make the plan. Who's running the show in the sheets? I don't know. <laughs> Just depends. Okay. Depends on the moon. Um, isn't a mama's boy. Did I mention the one about not being flaky? Did I mention that one yet? You did. I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, high sex drive and low neuroticism. Oh, yeah. do these apply to both? <laughs> but I'm, but this is the girls of Reddit and their little subreddit, the, the green flags that they're looking for in guys. Make sure, make sure. Everybody should be taking notes on this segment today. So everyone has to have a very high sex drive. Is that a lot of pressure for guys to have like this high sex drive? Yeah, our stuff really needs to be into it to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, like it's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have to be into it. Okay. Just making sure. Will help getting us into it. <laughs> like what? Like a like a back bend? I don't know. I... <laughs> How about a little help? Get me into it here. A little bit. All right. Help me get into it. Did I mention the flaky? Just be into it. All right. Did I mention neuroticism? Low Slim neuroticism. Back. It's big on that one. All right. Green flags. Everybody take notes. It's 94.5. The buzz.
94.5 The Buzz. Nirvana, come as you are. It's how we roll every day, every morning. Just come in. Come on. Hang out with us. Come, don't, you're going to fix yourself up. Just come as you are. Hang out with us in the morning. Today happens to be Wild Card Wednesday. It is our number one blog page today. Lots of stuff on that Looking at Girls blog page. A couple of articles. There's some chick that broke a record. What did she do? What did she do? I can't remember. It was good, though. It was like a really good record. There's so much stuff on there. I can't remember. There is a world record. Oh, it's on three things you must see. Larry and Jessica got married. Uh, greatest height differential of a married couple. Oh, that was trending early on. Not top three, but it was one of the more popular blog pages. But doesn't your mind go to super tall dude, little girl, when you or little chick? Greatest height differential in married couples? I guess, yeah, I guess it was. That's where my mind immediately goes. She's 5'10", he's an even three foot tall. Ah. So it's the opposite. Oh, a be- uh, 58-year-old grandmother in Canada did a plank for over four hours and 30 minutes yeah. on the Looking at Girls blog page. Doesn't look like my grandma. No? Does it? No. My grandma wasn't a big planker. No. Uh, <laughs> what are you giving away on Know the Show? Yeah. I have a pair of tickets to comedian Nikki Glaser at 713 Music Hall. All right. Um, we'll have a question for you on the flip of this break. Hey, what's up? It's your brother, Rod. Talking about this revolutionary weight loss medication. It's called Revelex, the newest prescription available only from Red Mountain Weight Loss. All the celebrity buzz is about that semaglutide right now, which is FDA approved, FDA approved for weight loss. Semaglutide, main ingredient in Revelex. That's what's doing. That's what's working the wonders out there. Okay, uh, the celebrity attention, the social media. It's being held as this new wonder drug. Well, because it's working. Okay, approved by the FDA for weight loss. People losing up to 15 pounds per month. Full-strength Revelex medication helps to shrink your belly, hips, thighs, starts an effective weight management dose right away. This means you can lose up to 15 pounds in just one month. Schedule your appointment and get started on Revelex today. It's available only by prescription. You can only get it at Red Mountain Weight Loss. Schedule your appointment now. Dial pound 250 from the phone, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss. Pound 250, keyword Red Mountain Weight Loss.
Tumball Parkway, the traffic lights are not working at Hollister. Uh, they're not working at Bamel, Fallbrook, or Chasewood Park. Where are they working? Dude, like literally everywhere else. That's not good. Oh, wait, they're not working at Greens Road. Ugh, that's my favorite road. <laughs> that's your right, Jack, on 94.5 The Bus. Ninety-four five, the buzz, and just like that, we are back. Okay, uh, last thing we're gonna do, and then we gotta get out of here, man. Uh, Nikki Glazer tickets, she's funny. Seven one three music call, April fourteenth. Tickets are on sale now. Grab a free pair uh, from Tessa with uh, answering by answering this question. Uh, what band name was added to the list today? Yeah, I feel like we've preserved the. The integrity of that. We don't just go slapping stuff on that list all the time yeah. around here. Uh, we did. Oh, and it's a possible shot name, too, right? Kind or of. Is it one a, or the other? A variation of it, sure. Okay. Uh, 713 212 5945.
All right, let's go. 94.5 The Buzz. Good morning. Rod Ryan Show. Let's rise against. Uh, Wild Card Wednesday. A uh, pretty successful one, too. Uh, pretty successful. Number one blog page today. A lot of people chiming in today. A lot of interaction. We run around here saying that we're the most interactive show on the radio. Uh, we kind of did that today. We had a great poll question. I won't say anything about that, though. Let's get right into another show. Good morning, Rod Ryan Show. Good morning. Good morning. Who's this? Danielle. How are you today, Danielle? Fantastic. You're listening to all the silliness today on the air, on the radio? Every day. Every morning. But today, did today seem extra silly? I'll I'll, I'll stop shy of saying stupid. Silly? (laughs) (laughs) A little bit, but it's it's all good. Okay. It's always good. Tessa, what's your question? Oh, okay. Uh, can you please tell me what name was added to the ban list and is in the running to be a possible shot for senior skip date, even though we don't have a place to do senior skip date or a date? <laughs> Wiener Hole Weirdos. She's Bravo. been listening. Bravo. She's been listening. You know the show. Alex has been trying to get this on the air all day today. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I mean, are we doing the whole thing? Do it. We're doing the whole thing here? We have it's, to. It's long. Come on. I have to hang out. Said. Radio Wizard's going <laughs> to take me aside on the golf t- course. He's like, oh, let's talk about today's show a little bit. Well, then like, no. like, I, can't, I can't. I'm at the golf tournament. <laughs> I'm working. I've been waiting all year for Wiener Talk. Come on. <laughs> exactly. Give <laughs> the people what they want. Uh, he probably turned off his radio right before you said that, too. All <laughs> right. What are you giving, Danielle? Oh, Danielle, you get the tickets to see comedian Nikki Glaser at 713 Music Hall. Congratulations. All right. <laughs> My husband is going to be so excited. Yeah, I bet. I bet. All right, it's going to be fun. We haven't gone anywhere in forever. Thank you so much. April 14th. You guys are busy, busy. Right before his birthday. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Well, Danielle, you and what's your husband's name? Chris. You and Chris. All right. Danielle and Chris. Have an awesome time. And happy early birthday to your dude, all right? Thank you. Thank all right. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for for listening. She said it was all good, even though it was extra silly today. Hey, uh, Sexy James didn't make it out of homeroom, huh? Mm-mm. Hi, another hey. Brian came in. He lost to that other Brian. But, out. but that Brian's a couple of time Hall of Famer. I think he's a two time Hall of Famer, so he's pretty good. Um, let's see if Brian, new Brian, can avoid the one pump chump. We'll find out tomorrow morning when we play. The hangover version of the fresh out of bed head to head challenge. That day after the golf tournament is always a rough one. Everybody double check your alarms now. I I'm just saying it right now. Set another one. Will uh, do. Wildcard Wednesday, number one link today, closest to the pin. Alex? Barely won. Barely? Barely. Mm. One by two. He won. Yeah, well, three. you only need three. Our poll question this morning <laughs> Rod Ryan show, it's all wiener all the time. <laughs> today on this uh, Wiener Wednesday. Do you use the Wiener Hole guys when going to the bathroom? 46, almost 47% never put me in that group. Uh, 26% of our audience sometimes and 26% of our audience always. 354 gentlemen chimed in on the Wiener Hole today. It's a pretty good poll question. Uh, Green flags and dudes. They were applicable for everyone. I'll say that one final time. Um, let's see. What does it say? Competition still interested? Oh, are we still interested? Yeah, young people, you were... I, Tessa really... Because Tessa that is so... pissed me off. Because you're so competitive <laughs> that it drives you crazy to think that there's a whole, maybe a possible generation of people that don't share your competitiveness. I'm out here bleeding my own blood. You mean to tell me they don't care? <laughs> right? I don't think so. All right, well... You will race me! You'll get a chance to <laughs> compete against Alex tomorrow and read my lips. Oh, I can't wait. We'll see me. how that goes. Hey, let's just do it together, Alex. Let's just guess the words together. Let's all just guess. Yeah, somebody said like a, a communal version of read my like, lips okay, hurt. Let's and not then even then have what? headphones on. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. just hear Rod say it and we'll say just it right back to him. give me a hint. Him. Can I have a hint? We're going to play a game called Repeat After Me <laughs> for points. Uh, fix the gram tomorrow. Throwback Thursday tomorrow. All right. Jeremy's got the nonstop nooner. Pick your tickets with him in the one o'clock hour. We're going to be out at the golf tournament. That's it. We got to go. Uh, Tessa's, Tessa's on Houston Life. You're going to be live 
at one o'clock, but you're going to be at the golf course. Yes. Yeah, so you I'm not. Cutaways. I'm going to get away from the host desk. Lauren Kelly, who is usually live, is going to fill in for me at the desk, and they're going to be out to me live at the golf course. You know, a little two bird one stone action. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they still? Too. Are they still called cutaways? Are they doing cutaways to you? Um, what do you call it? We call them hit times. You're hit. Yeah. You're doing some hits. Yeah. How many hits are you hits. doing? Uh, one tease and then two actual hits. Good. Yeah. Okay, great. That's it. That's everything. Jeremy's like, get your wieners out of here. Yeah. It's my time. Well, we're on a 20-hour break. A-M-F.